Hello, everyone, and welcome to GTA 5. Apologies for the slight delay. OBS didn't want to load, and then when it did, it didn't want to recognize my microphone. So, <laughs> apologies on that one. We are here. We are live. Uh, I have an Eve poking her head under a monitor. It's very cute. What are you doing, Evie? You're, you're far too fat to fit under that gap, but you can poke your head there. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, we have got a bit of an unconventional... Um, same unconventional. Actually, it's a fairly sensible car meet, except for Stevie with a... I don't know what that was. Grenade of some sort? Uh, we have got a McLaren Senna. We have an R8. We have the... Zeruno, the Italia design. Uh, we have a Hennessy Venom. We have the Aston Martin Victor. And best of all, we have a pink pre. This was the discussion. Okay, folks. This was the discussion in party chat while I was desperately trying to fix OBS. Of all of these cars, if you saw a car meet with the real life equivalent of them, what is the first one you are taking a picture of? Well, you and reckoned you'd take a picture. Well, it wasn't exactly that question, but let's just ask it to chat in that manner. Um, now the pink pre is getting beaten. Wait, Stevie! Stevie! Go back to Prius bashing, okay? I shouldn't have got- I didn't mean to get out of a grenade launcher, but we did! We do have that in our arsenal, if we need. Um, welcome everybody who is, uh, who is just joining. Welcome everyone who is just tuning in. You are currently watching us beat up a Prius. Uh, Stevie's been killed in the melee. I have a baseball bat. Um, we could all- <laughs> <laughs> there has been, there has been three deaths. The pre has outlived three of us. But what does this say? This says everything you need to know, really, about the pre. It has outlived three of us. I mean, I've been smacking it with a baseball bat, and the worst it's done is slightly ding the bonnet. <laughs> the pre is going to outlive more of us, I have no doubt. Um, I nope. Nope. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Amy's going to get shot in a second. Um, there is just a very, very big brawl currently going. I think that was Amy anyway. Um, uh, we've got 450 people watching as we batter a pretend pre that's still alive. Something else isn't. The pre's still alive. Where, where has Amy gone? You're not Amy. Uh, I should probably turn the, uh, you know what, I should probably turn the useful stuff back on. Um, oh dear. Uh, welcome all who are just joining to the mess that is a fail race, it's the start of a fail race. So I will, I will do the other important things that, that we do need to, uh, to do. If you would like to take part, um, Ewan is a person to message whose game tag is one, two, three, four, five, sixth down on the list of names at the site, just above mine, in fact. Uh, whoopsie, over there. Send Ewan a message. We're playing on the enhanced version of GTA 5 on Xbox. Uh, you will need both of those things if you want to take part, but send Ewan a message. He will try and get you connected so you can take part in this. Oi, you bugger. I'm on fire. I'm going to go stand here. Ha ha. Now, what are you going to do, whoever was shooting me with flares? You can't set fire to me if I'm in water, right? That's how it works, I think. There's also a fire truck. I feel like that's dangerous. Uh, we will have plenty of silliness for you today. There might be some sensible races around the place as well as we go. Uh, Nareth's got a little car. Um, and then we've got some mounting going on over there. And that's how baby supercars are made. I've forgotten what even the name of that thing is. There's so many generic -y supercars in this game now. Like, oh, supercars, hypercars. I struggle to keep up. That's where the flares were coming from. I can't see through the smoke. Uh, you know what? I have another solution. <laughs> the problem's been solved. <laughs> oh, we fixed the problem. We fixed the problem. It did take a rocket launcher. I didn't really need a homing rocket. I should probably buy a non-homing rocket launcher at some point. Oh, the police are going to become a problem. Uh, who shall I give said problem to? Level 8. We're going to give you a problem as well. Yes, the police are here. Can we get away from them? Ah. Right. The, 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 the normal chaos has resumed. An ambulance has turned up. Uh, welcome everybody who is just tuning in to the uh, glorious mess. Also, thank you very much to Zav uh, for the donation. I actually donated before the start of the stream. That's very keen. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> it is much appreciated, though. Saying, can I request the worst track ever made? Mine, a.k.a. the Eight of Blades, with a comet, and you didn't give a rest of the name, or another car, so it might be free choice for us. Uh, we can have a go at the Eight of Blades. Uh, it is a figure of eight circuit that involves a wind turbine in the middle. It makes a very big mess of cars. It's general calamity, really. Uh, and Danger Man is blocking us in, although I think we're going to get away from the... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, away from the police anyway, so we should be fine. Uh, or maybe not. There's a police car coming over that way. Oh, in fact, Level 8 had exactly the same idea at exactly the same time. Mine was going to use a gun rather than a Molotov, but uh, there we go. Oh, we got away from the wanted level. Fantastic. Welcome, everyone, who is uh, just tuning in to the stream. I hope you've all had a good Sunday. Hope, uh, hopefully you've had a good Sunday of motorsport as well, if that is your thing. Uh, it has been a good day of touring cars and the Festival of Speed shootout uh, was slightly badly filmed at the start of it, but it was an awesome uh, <laughs> an awesome event. Uh, that uh, little McMurty car thing is awesome. I love it. I want one. I want a one-make series of those. It would be amazing fun to watch. Um, so, uh, yeah, we will get this thing started, actually. We've got 25 people. Bloody hell. Everyone is keen today. Awesome stuff. Uh, we will. I think I've still got the Eight of Blades downloaded. I'm pretty sure I've seen it when flicking through. I, I don't think I would have deleted it. Because it is very mean. It is very silly. Um, it causes all sorts of chaos. Do I not have it? Uh, maybe I don't. I swear I did have it. It's possible I don't. Or is it called The Eight of Blades? Sometimes sometimes things are named funny. Uh, I swear I've seen... Oh, The Eight of Blades. Okay. I, I, it did have that name. We are going to start this job. This is a mayhem one that we are going to be uh, starting. That we are going to be trying. Uh, there's a lot of things that are going to go wrong here. A lot of cars are going to be sent to space. A lot of cars are going to explode. What more could you want, really? I uh, will alert Foul Race Police Department. Thank you very much for the donations. Like, any chance of seeing some Horizon 5 racing on some of the event lab races? I mean... There is always a chance. The reason why we haven't really seen any yet is we've had problems getting them to work reliably. Uh, the, the biggest issue we had, I mean, there's a truck race one that we will film at some point, but it spawns cars in funny. We've had cars spawning in funny. We've had them not loading props properly. We've had, we've just had a lot of issues going on um, with getting them to work. When we can get it reliably, then we will probably see some. Because uh, there's some very, very cool creations. Um, yeah, we, we've tried a couple of different times. I mean, one track we loaded, we could only ever get, like, four people connected. And everyone else got disconnected. Though, I think that was a background footage for a video at some point. Um, there was a very, very good race between me and Blakey. Um, around this awesome little custom circuit. But, yeah, we could only get about four people connected. So, while we had a great race, it didn't really work properly. Uh, so, yeah, there, there, there is that. I do love them. It's amazing what... Uh, I'm amazing what you can do with the event lab. It's really cool, and I look forward to see what you can do with the Hot Wheels stuff. There's a load of potential. Amazing potential in there, but... Um, we will have to wait and see how well it works. Right, so this, this track... So, we're going to go seven laps. Now, it's a very short lap, but that lap does evolve twice around this loop. So, it is... Uh, it's going to be a challenge. Oh, my Woolaloo's are working today and really loud because I turned up my speakers as the BTCC was quiet. So, <laughs> I just got very loudly Woolaloo'd at. Uh, okay. We are going to be driving the Comet. Everybody, I'm just going to give it a minute just because of the stream delay. Everybody, we're driving the Comet, Okay. I don't remember if it's locked. I don't think it is. So, everybody drive the Comet, please. All right? We're going to give that a go. We will see. A uh, Willala Perzi? Uh, Perzu? I don't know how to pronounce your name, but thank you. I apologize. Anyone who donates, I will try my best, but I am going to mispronounce everything a lot of the time. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the donation. So, how about trying the best track ever? Oval of Misfortune. We can quite possibly have a go at the Oval of Misfortune. Um, uh, P.S. Thank you for providing the best entertainment on the internet, hands down. Well, uh, thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoyed the videos and hope you will uh, enjoy today's stream. Um, okay, the, the thing is unlocked. Uh, as Zavis just said, this, this race is unlocked. Everybody drive the Comet, please. Uh, 
Let's see if everyone pays attention. I am going to suspect somebody will be in the wrong car. We've got 28 people in here, but um, let's see what happens. This is going to be mayhem. We haven't driven one of these tracks for a while like this, and I am one of the worst at dodging turbines. I'm terrible at it, so this could only go really well. Uh, Stinty, of course, saying the straight line is the best track. I wonder why. I wonder, I wonder why Stinty would say that. Um... I presume it's supposed to be Lieutenant Corporal Jones. I think that's what that shortened bit is. But thank you for the donation. Say hi. I have been following uh, for eight for over eight years now, but never managed to catch a live stream. Hey, good timing indeed. Wait, hold on. I will read the rest of that. I've just got to cycle through here quickly to find a comet. Uh, oh, we should have said it was the original comet. It's the original comet. The, the delay is going to be too much. I hope people pay attention. That's a little bit on me. Uh... <laughs> Uh, that's that's a little bit on me. I should have specified. I forgot there's about five different comets. Whoopsie. Um, but anyway, yeah, sorry. I'll read the rest of this donation now. Thanks for the great content over the years, and let there be many more to come. Uh, do Apollo's farts smell like a bakery? Because if they do, it must be bread in him. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. That is going to be a boo to you from chat and, and from me. Someone has got a Comet SR. Uh, there are, most of them have got the right car. Whee! And Amy's gone for a fly. Uh, <laughs> whoop! We've gone for a punt forward. We have got through this. I mean, the speed is not is not really um, the reason why we want. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's why we wanted the original Comet because we've got a banana car. <laughs> Uh, oh, accelerate banana car, thank you. It's gone really badly wrong immediately. Look at it. <laughs> it's like something out of Carmageddon. Oh, no. Oh, banana car's going to have to be reset. We've almost made it to the refinery at this point. Oh, dear. The banana car was amazing, but uh, sadly, it is not long for this world, and I have driven poorly there. Uh, we have fallen to 20th. Oh, Noretta's is in a classic Comet. Uh, we're going to punch our way through there. Ewan's missed a checkpoint. Right, how far up the order can we get from here? Oh, Mafia Dad's got a very weird... <laughs> I can see where the turbine hit Mafia Dad's car. Oh, sorry, Gliska. We were going for the gap. Ow. And I found the edge of that. Uh, <laughs> hello, Noretta's. We're going for a top 10 now. That's, that's about as good as we could realistically hope for, although so many things... Oh, Gliska was the leader. I do apologise, Gliska. I mean, I wasn't intentionally trying to hit anybody. It was just we're fighting for the same piece of tarmac. Uh, whoop. We go up around the wall. Uh, you, you... Oh, God. Trying to figure out who's lapped you is so difficult. Oh, we were having a good lap there. We're almost back. Actually, we're almost up into the top ten. You and you've got me stuck on the hill. God damn it, Ewan. <laughs> Oh, there's been some wool allures. Don't worry, I shall read donations out. Um, however, it'll have to be done in between races, because funnily enough, there's too much going on in this for me to be able to see. Um, we are up to 12th. Stinty... Are we racing Stinty for position? No, oh, my car's a little bit unhappy on the bumps there. Oh, someone's just gone flying. Aim for the centre. Oh, we went underneath it. We just got through with a little bit of a spin. Noretz is upside down. I feel like Noretz has been upside down quite a lot here. <laughs> Every time I've seen the reds, oh, I've got, I've got a problem with my handling. I'm not quite sure what, but I think I've got some broken suspension going on, funnily enough. Car versus turbine. Yeah, I've broken something in a very weird way. Is that rear left, maybe? Is that what's busted in this? I think so. Oh! Blakey's also got handling issues uh, as Blakey runs up the hill. Yeah, so my rear left is very broken. I don't want to reset because, well, it costs a lot of time. Oh, there's a gap to shoot through there, and we found it. We made it. Everything is almost under control. I have got a system here. It doesn't always work, but... Oh! I couldn't stop for a Pretend Ninetales. In fact, the Pretend Ninetales' car is even worse condition than mine was at the start. Um, yeah, so I can't run on the banking because my car gets too out of control. We've got to actually run. We've got to take a slightly compromised line around this circuit. However... Oh! That is... I can keep control of my car, at least. That's the bit that matters. Oh, there was a gap. There's still a gap. We're still finding a gap. And we found said gap quite well, and then we got punted through. Danger Man's also getting stuck up there. Uh, Danger Man, we're racing for position. Childish is the car ahead of us. Um, so the rest of these are all half a lap down or a lap down, depending on... Nugs is going to have a crash. And... <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. If I bump the... I, if I bump the banked part of that circuit, we have an issue. 
we can ride this one. Danger Man has exploded and is no longer my main rival for position. Whoa! Hello, mess of cars! Hello, Nareths. You've had a bad race, haven't you? What position is Nareths in? Quite a long way down. 21st, I think. I can't. I can't look. There's too much going on. Oh, dear. Go reverse. Any, any movement through the uh, blades is a good thing. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get much higher than 5th given the state of our car and how this race has started. Oh, no, I'll take it back. There's Childish. That's a fourth. Could we really get on the podium after an absolutely shocking start? Uh, <laughs> if we can, that would be an amazing comeback. Yeah, we're never winning this race. Oh, I mean, that one there, I mean, Gliska did the same thing as well. That one there was, there was a, a gap. It's better to get through the turbine and crash afterwards than it is to dither and miss the turbine. Miss the gap in the turbine, basically. Uh-oh. I've got to really slow this down for the corners. I do lose some lap speed here. I have no idea who's winning. The answer is not me. Uh, however, uh, it's Stinty. Stinty leads from Gliska. Salmon was leading for a while and now is, now is not in that battle. Oh, I found a Blakey. Okay, we are racing Blakey for the podium here. Oh, and then a chain reaction crash put Blakey up the hill. That gives me a uh, third place now. Uh, oh, we've found a Nareths. We've got punted through. Uh, we're half a lap down on Gliska. Stinty and Gliska there are battling, so yeah, Gliska has the lead. We are half a lap down on the lead battle. Gliska's missing a hole out of their car, and I'm up, and I'm up, and I'm off to space. <laughs> right, let's... No, no. I'm off to space. Hey, I've even gone... Wait, no, I'm going to land. I'm going to land this one. Don't have to reset. No, don't explode. Thank you, car. Uh, I thought I was clear of the turbine. I just got clipped by it. Ah, oh, we've lost. We've lost the podium. Uh, if you're just joining the stream, welcome to... Oh, Gliska's just finished. Welcome to the madness that is the Eight of Blades. There is a, a Woolalu coming in. Thank you very much to whoever did that one. Ah, uh, come on. Ah, oh, I've lost. Oh, it's all gone wrong on the right at the death. Blakey and Danger Man have repassed us. I've got a fixed car now, but yeah, that, that's it. That's all it took. Those two hits uh, are all it took to completely screw us. And there's another one come in. I thought I just saw my microphone wobble, which made me think a cat had done something. There is a cat jumping around the desk somewhere. I just can't see her. Um, see that cat ups are no good. However, oh, that was that was poor. That was poorly driven by me. I uh, also oh, another word alert. Find the gap. We did. Oh, there's a danger man. <laughs> that was a fling my car at a danger man and hope. Uh, Childish is the car behind us in sixth, which uh, danger man crosses the finish line. Uh, we will cross. It could have. Uh, it could have gone worse. It could. It could have gone worse. I was. Uh, I thought we could get a podium. We started. It looked like it might have been possible. Ah. Uh, just, it slipped away at the end. I'm disappointed. Stinty gets fastest lap of 40.2. That's pretty good going, actually. Uh, we could only manage a 43 in that one. We did have a broken car for a lot of it, though. So, considering I drove from about 20th to 3rd in a broken car, not too bad going. Amy's decided to climb Chiliad. Uh, but there we go. It's a good start. It's a good start. Welcome, everyone, who is just tuning in to the stream. Yes, we're starting off with some madness here. Um, we are definitely starting off with some madness. Um, uh, all right, so for, this, for the second race, it's going to be a free choice of car. That's brave, Zav. Uh, <laughs> so we will see. We'll, I'll select a class, and we will see what happens. This will probably only have older cars. This track was made a long time ago, a good few years ago now. Uh, so... Yeah, we shall, we shall see. Um, right. Donations. Uh, Boar Jan, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying thanks for all the years of fun and, uh, more importantly, chaos. Ah, yes, there has been much chaos. And there shall be much more chaos tonight. Uh, but, uh, as ever, glad to hear you've been enjoying the videos that uh, that I make. Uh, the Petrolhead, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, hey, Alex, my weekend was good. I had my village fate yesterday. It was pretty exhausting and good. Uh, and, yeah, that little McMurty fan car is insane and mad. A new fastest car at the event. Uh, 39081. Uh, keep up the chaos. Um, yeah, I, I really, really like it. It looks, I, I said on Twitter, but it looks to me like a car from the Burnout Paradise toy expansion. It looks like they took an Uber shell or a full-size car and made it into a toy version. And that's not a bad thing at all. Um, it's like, that's, that's yeah, 
that's that's not a bad thing. I love the way it looks, um, but it is. I've watched a lot of cars go up Goodwood over the years. I've I've been there for a, a lot of the cars, a lot of the very very fast cars. I watched the IDR, the two o eight T sixteen thing, um, Pastrana and his Subaru. Like so many cars, I've watched go up there. Nothing has ever looked as fast as that car. It is unbelievable. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I highly, highly recommend you go and find it at some point uh, because it is just the most ridiculous. <laughs> it's the most insane car. Um, I love it. I, I really, really like it. And okay, yes, I know it's electric and everything. And no, it doesn't quite have the same sort of visceral appeal of like a Can Am car, for example. But the way it gains speed makes. The lack of, you know, massive thumping V8 noise or whatever, it, I say it makes it a bit irrelevant. Not completely, but it takes, it is so fast it makes up for it. And it makes its own weird sounds as well, which is kind of cool because the fan spins up and it sounds like something out of Robot Wars when they get the death howl going on. It is a great car. It is an absolutely fantastic car. So, yeah, I hope it's there next year. I hope it's there next year. I, I reckon it could probably get a 38 if the track wasn't so dirty and dusty. Um... Uh, in perfect conditions, that could probably get a 38 up there. It'd be awesome to see. Uh, so, yeah, maybe next year. Maybe next year. Um, but, yeah, really, really cool car. So, uh, right, we will get... We're going to go muscle cars. Use whatever you want. Use whatever you want from this. It is free choice. Um, go for it. You know, you can pick the... I don't, I don't know what I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick something half decent to hopefully stand half a chance. But it's a f turbine race. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, we're going to fire this one up. I'll probably drive a Dominator or something, but we shall see. Uh, Dima, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, watch Glastonbury live or fail race? <laughs> the choice is obvious. Well, I'm guessing since you're donating here, uh, you chose the correct option of, uh, of watching fail race. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Steve Ed, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying hello from Texas, uh, USA. Uh, hello indeed. Welcome to, to I say, wherever in the world you may be watching this from. Welcome. I hope you are having a good time of day. Whether that be morning, whether that be evening, I'm going to drive... The Pisswasser Dominator, yes. It should be quite quick. It should be quite nice to drive. It might get broken a bit, but it'll be fun. Uh, Jammy Jam Jam, thank you very much for the donation. As I'm looking forward to seeing a new Hunt the Survivors in Horizon 5. Uh, one hasn't been filmed as of yet, but I'm sure we will get around to doing it at some point. Um, Hunt the Survivors is, is good fun on Horizon 5, so yeah, I have no doubt that will make an appearance. Uh, oh, I should have said no armoured cars. That was my... I keep forgetting that there are armoured cars in these categories. Just in general, the rule is no armoured cars, but I specifically didn't say no armoured cars, so it's not... <laughs> it, is, it is like a general rule we have, but I do forget about it a lot. Uh, we Oh, I was busy watching the Dukes of Death fly. I got carried away. Oh, I'm an idiot. Uh, that is all on me. It was too funny. I just... <laughs> I, I just, I got distracted watching a flying car, as one would, let's face it. If you see a massively armoured Dodge Charger go flying, oh, through the air, go, oh, we've made a ute. <laughs> I didn't know the Dominator came as a ute, it does now. The, the yeah, it's the Pisswasser ute. This is, oh, it doesn't handle very well. I see why they didn't make a ute. Uh, can we come down? Floor, please, catch us. Uh, uh. Damn it, we didn't quite get the checkpoint. Don't mind me, I've got to get a checkpoint. There's a problem. This is horrible to drive. It's so hopeless. I don't want to reset it, though. It's too cool. In general, I mean, when we filmed on this track ages ago, I think the rule was you don't reset unless your car is, like, smoking. Because uh, it's half the fun is trying to drive a knackered car around here. Can we get a top 10 with the Pisswasser Ute? It will probably have to get reset at some point, but God damn it, I'm going to try and get this to the finish line. Oh, no. I need to not... Oh, there's Stinty with the Moonbeam. Of course, Stinty's got the Moonbeam. We're at 16th. I think we are actually racing Stinty. But we are racing Stinty for position. Um, right. I didn't know the Ellie gets the crazy damage. Oh. Piss wasser indeed. Uh, <laughs> is Kleska stuck? Oh, Blakey's given us a help. Who is leading? Pinged Vessel is leading and Blakey's in second. So, I mean, we wouldn't want to intentionally... Um, 
block the leader. I never would, but uh, there's only so much control I have over the ute of, of oversteer, really. There's a donk involved. Someone's exploded. Uh, we are going to... I don't think I should play on the banking. Nope, I, I definitely decided the banking is a bad place to go. I've got no steering. Thankfully, the understeer kind of helped me there. Oh! Hello. Could you carry me along? Oh, we're almost top ten. I think this group of cars is the, is the group of cars that we are actually battling for position a bit here. Um, please turn, please turn. I'm going to miss that checkpoint at some point. Level 8's found a wall. We're up to 14th. Meow to you too, Eve. I don't think you would have heard that one. She was quite a long way away, but you never know. Uh, if you heard her over the aircon fans going, I'd be impressed, to be honest. Oh, we're 7th, but I can't... Okay, so I can avoid that. Oh, there's a gap there. Hello. <laughs> Come on, UT. Let's go. Uh, there is a Blakey with the black fin. That's good to see the black fin doing well. Uh-oh. No, I've been... I've not been spun intentionally, but... You know, we have gone round. Oh, well, that cleared the path for me. Lovely. Thank you. Noreths, thank you for being a block. Um, oh, Amy's exploded. I don't know who I'm racing with. Seventh? Stinty blew up. Nugs blew up. Everybody exploding. Uh, I understeer so badly now. Oh, well, we got... We helped Blakey through there, actually. Ugh. And around we go. We're sixth. How is UT McPisswasser still somehow alive and doing this well? Uh, there's a gap, there's a gap, there's a gap, there's a flying dukes of death. I don't like that. Flying dukes of death is not... Not what we want. Oh, I can't turn. It's so understeery. <laughs> it's so understeery followed by horrific snap oversteer. When it does find grip, it just snaps on you. Oh. Blakey, go. I don't want to fight you. Blakey's going to hit a turbine and go to space. Who am I actually battling? Nereths and Salmon are the cars ahead. Danger Man is the car behind. I literally don't want to fight any single car. I want nothing to do with any car around. Gliska's got all of the tyres on fire. How on earth has Gliska managed that one? That is impressive. That, <laughs> that is... How have you done that, Gliska? <laughs> Danger Man's come past. Oh, no, I'm going to get pushed into a turbine. We avoid it. Stinty is almost going to collect us. Thankfully, doesn't. Uh, there's a gap somewhere through here. I did see Childish around. I think I think I saw Childish around. No, I saw Salmon around. That was who we were racing. Sorry. Childish is one of the cars who was in front of us, but I didn't, didn't see them. We are up to fourth now. Oh, we're on the outside of Sound of White Noise here. Not intentionally. Oh, I've got no control over my car. Get in a straight line, you bugger. There we go. Oh, there's a little gap. Oh, and the member's fallen over. <laughs> oh. Come on, I just want the Ute to finish the race at this point. Oh, we've been helped. And i got a zoomy cat going on in the office as well. Don't mind them. Come on, Salmon. Let's go. We are racing. Salmon's, a, Salmon's got a dominated GTX in almost pristine condition against this mess. And this is the battle for fourth. Ah, oh, well, that was a disconnecting car directly in front of me. Uh, that has screwed us a little bit, although then Salmon got screwed by a tumbling. Team or I don't know what orange car that was, but uh, a Team Orange vehicle helped me out. Level 8, could you uh, get a little bit of a move on? Oh, this is a bad news day for me. UT McPisswasser has made it through at least. Uh, oh, we are... Well, you know, actually, that, that punt helped. It got me into the tunnel. Oh, Stevie's got... Oh, Stevie's got a Dukes of Death. We don't count. Steety, uh, cheaty McStevie over there. Uh, oh, arse. Uh, 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 no. Car, can we get some in-air control, please? Okay, we have got some control, at least. We're on the wrong side. Oh, we're on the wrong side of everything here. That's not what we needed. Go. Gliska's still got... Still going with tyres of fire. How is... Chris is still going. Anybody know? Unless that's a weird visual bug. Oh, we've got a lot of understeer. I feel it's getting worse. Whoa. There was a gap there. Danger Man had some trouble. So we're back to six. Who got past us as well? Stevie. Oh, Stevie's run up through the uh, field here. Uh, we're on to the final lap, which means two more times around this circuit. Oh, um, the understeer's got worse. It has got way, way, way worse. Uh... <laughs> There is a Stevie. We had to kind of plow into the side of that one. Our oh, Danger Man's just snuck past to get third. Oh, the Dukes of Death rejoining the circuit screwed us. Not, not their fault. I mean, like, 
<laughs> it, like, there's so much chaos going on, you just go, you go, and you cannot have any sort of concern for anybody else. We're going to put Amy on the turbine. No, Amy got away with it. Uh, there's a danger man on the outside. We could be in with a shot for a podium if anything happens to Childish and nothing happens to us, but that's a big if going on here. Uh, danger man oh, got through just about in front of us. In fact, we've never fallen to seventh in all of this. I don't know who else has snuck past. We're going to try and use Ewan as a block on Danger Man. Uh, oh, we've got a punt from a fiery Gliska. I think Gliska beat us. We, <laughs> we kind of used Ewan as a block on Danger Man, and then I think Gliska passed us on the line. No! But the Uti Dominator made it. <laughs> <laughs> the UT Dominator made it, and Narev's won with a Moonbeam. That is that is the best news of all of this. Narev's won with a Moonbeam. A Dukes of Death got second. Um, then a... I uh, don't know what the third... Oh, GTX. Dominator GTX we got third. Um, I have absolutely no idea how Gliska had that the wheels on fire going around there. Um, whatsoever, but... Uh, <laughs> Oh, the the piss wasser you was awesome. That was good fun actually. That was actually quite a good race. I mean, yeah, we got a very broken car. Whoop. Uh, Val Trek here is uh, not having a good day. <laughs> that just got fired back from the uh, from the turbines there. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. Well, that was uh, an entertaining spectacle to say the least. While this race is uh, finishing off, I shall uh, read some more donations. Uh, Ethan, thank you very much for the uh, for the generous donation. Saying, Harnix, I hope you and the pets are doing well and looking forward to this evening's guaranteed madness. Ah, yes. The fail race guarantee is things will go wrong spectacularly and cars will probably fly through the air. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the stream so far. The animals, the pets are doing well. There was some zoomy cats. I'm sure the cats will turn up at some point uh, during this. Uh, I've got the cats in the office tonight. Uh, Soggy Tater, thank you very much for the donation. I uh, say thank you for the years of massively entertaining content. Uh, good luck. Uh, I, as ever, I'm glad to hear uh, you've been enjoying. Speaking of cats turning up, cats has turned up. But uh, yes, I'm glad to hear you've been enjoying the videos, and hopefully you are enjoying tonight's ridiculousness. We'll go with that. Level eight, thank you for the donation with the obligatory crane stinks. Just, it, it, it almost has to be done. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just every stream, Crane stinks. Um, Patrick Long, thank you very much uh, also for the uh, generous donation. I say thanks for the great streams. Uh, as I said, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying them. Hope you will enjoy tonight's uh, complete mess that is uh, inevitably going to occur. Um, so, yeah, we are. I think we are all caught up now uh, with with those. Uh, oh, Kansas say, has Nareth's crashed a helicopter yet? That is an old reference. Nareth, you're slacking. You haven't wrecked helicopters at the start of the streams like you used to. Uh, <laughs> but that's a good point. No, Nareth's, Nareth's has not crashed a helicopter as of yet. Something it, it is, it is uh, slightly... Slightly amiss. Oh, we've spawned by the... Over here. The game has given me an apostrophe. You are an apostrophe, not a premiere, aren't you? Hold on. I can, they're very similar. They're very boring, similar cars. I know it's actually an Astro, but I shall forever call it an apostrophe. Hey, the game has actually dumped us all back into the same lobby. I am the first one here, which means I'm going to run away before the inevitable, inevitable madness goes on. Because uh, it will. And I need to sneeze. At some point. Maybe at some point it will. If you talk about it, you don't sneeze, so that's why I do it. Um, <laughs> with the hope that it'll that it'll work. Uh oh. The ref is registered as a CEO, is that to call it a helicopter? I'm worried. I feel like we probably all should be a little bit worried. Um oh. Uh, the supercars. The supercars have turned up. A, uh, a wool alert. Jackman, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, everyone smells very nice. God, is someone being polite in the donation messages? Well, that is very kind of you. That is very kind of you indeed. Uh, we are bullying a McLaren Senna. <laughs> oh no! Oh, the reversal! Oh no! <laughs> oh, it was a wrestling move going on right there. 
Uh, Green Finchy, thank you very much for the donation. Saying so thank you all for your wonderful videos throughout the years. Uh, first time catching a stream. Uh, welcome to the wonderful land of live content where more things go wrong than usual. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's always nice to see and hear people uh, sort of tuning in live to these for the first time and so on. I hope you will enjoy uh, this session here. Uh, I'm just going to open my drink oh, before we get loaded up uh, next. Oh, let's try and not spill that everywhere because I'm an idiot. Ah, there we go. Ah! We have been punted. Uh, I, <laughs> this area just reminds me of the drag racing mod and watching the AI cars Ooh. trying to figure out how to physics down here and often not physicsing very well. Oh, I got my steering wrong on that one. There's a booper somewhere. I don't know where they've gone. Uh, a woolala zav. Thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so, that was brilliant. Ten, ten on ten. Uh, he's ten off to... Hey, where is the booper? Oh, it's sound of white noise. Uh, well, I will miss because I'm a plank. Uh, shall we go load up the next race? Don't worry, we will do the uh, Oval of Misfortune, but we shall leave that a little bit uh, a little bit later. For now, we will load up a more a more normal race, if I can remember what a norm, more normal race is. And I have no idea what cars some of these are locked to. So we are... Oh, this one was quite fun, actually. I remember this track. We're going to load up a Gliska circuit. This was based on a... Was it Road Trip Adventure? Or uh, one of the Gadget Racer games, I think. Guys, a long, it was a long time ago that uh, that we ran this one, but it's based on one of those one of those circuits. Oh, hello, Eve. That's why the desk was. I figured out why the desk shake shook at some point. She was jumping onto the cat tree that sits behind me. <laughs> that's why. That's where she went. I knew there was chaos cat somewhere around the place. Uh, right. Let's go. Set that to noon so everyone can see what we're doing. Custom vehicles off. I remember what I'm doing. And we will get everybody in from the last... I've got a fairly full game going on at the moment. Uh, however, if you would like to take part, uh, Ewan is the person to message alongside where we have highlighted here. If you send Ewan a message, uh, he will try and get you connected. You need to have the enhanced version of GTA and you need to be playing on Xbox to be able to take part. Um, so yeah, there's, there's that. We are quite close to being full, actually. On, uh, on on this session, but as people come and go, spaces will appear. If you message you and you'll go on the waiting list. If you like, do not send multiple messages because every time you send a new one, you will go. It will put you further down the list because it will reset. It will make your message more current or more uh, more recent, and you and goes down from oldest to first. So, yeah, only send one message. You will go on the list. It'll take a while to get through. Um, also, I'm sending invites to the phone just just to make sure. Um, yeah, check your phone for invites to these games. I believe that is where it will appear. Can't remember the cars. I think we raced the LG Retro Custom for the sports category. Can't remember what uh, sedan we end up driving. No idea. There's one nasty corner as well. Uh, I say one nasty corner. Uh, one nasty section, because I think there's a split route. And I seem to remember that there's going to be a bit mayhem with 27 or 28 cars driving around it. Um... I mean, it's what you want. <laughs> I know what you lot are like. You want chaos. You want vehicles fumbling and bumbling and crashing into one another. Uh, this was also where, I think, was it Liam did the amazing... Amazing... Was it Liam? Or was it uh, Ninetales who did the amazing, like, jump from one side across a whole bunch of cars and got away with it around here? Uh, we will get started if there are more people on the way. Um, if you've got invites, you can join and spectate, and then you'll be in for the... Uh, for the next time, uh, for the next race, etc. Uh, Senor Blanco, thank you very much for the donation. I think if I remember this track, it's really lovable. That is going to be a boo to you from chat and indeed from me. But I uh, thank you very much for, <laughs> for the donation, nevertheless. Uh, Finchy, thank you very much. Uh, for the nation. So, any favourite cars slash moments uh, from uh, Festival of Speed? Uh, loved the 963 reveal. I can't wait to fall them on. Oh, God. There was a lot. Um, there was a lot of cool cars. There was a lot of cool cars um, at the Festival. The McMurty thing is is perhaps one of my favourites. Just 
I, I saw it last year and thought, oh, that's a fun little concept. And then to see it do what it's capable of, that is up there. That that is definitely definitely up there. Uh, it was nice seeing a lot of the super touring cars. Actually, they had the Accord, they had the Accord, the S40, and two of the Primeras, uh, which was awesome. I always always been a fan of the super touring cars. Um, and the other particular standout thing was uh, Pastrana with that Subaru. I love. Them. I mean, I'm always going to be a sucker for an estate car. Naturally, I love high performance estate cars, and that Subaru is amazing. Uh, it's so mad, uh, especially when it dies on the brakes and all the aero bits come up, and yeah, it's wonderful. So th that would be probably my sort of top three um, sort of things from the festival. Uh, right, so yeah, here is where there is an alternate route to the inside, but it's going to cause chaos. Oh, oh god damn it. God damn it. Uh, oh, we've got, oh, they said they might have a food delivery, so that's why they are... Uh, parked on the grid. Just another obstacle for us to deal with. Oh, that's a lot of speed into turn one. Now, I mean, <laughs> true to sort of old school racing games, uh, there are plenty of places where you can fall off around here. Uh, so we've got to be a little bit careful. There's this split route part. Um, uh, there's no real advantage going up at the top. Although it does give you an option if it's busy and there's nowhere else to put your car. Uh, we're going to have a good run down here. Um, to the inside of Stinty. Now, got to be careful because these Warreners do slide, as we saw, and on a tight line, you might get a lot of oversteer. Ewan is going to run out of momentum. Oh, someone's gone for a spin further back. We are on the inside of Stinty. Ewan is on the inside of us. <laughs> and we went for that move. Oh, Stinty! I'm going to push you forward. Sorry, I pushed you a bit wide, but uh, it was better I do that than leave you, because otherwise you were going to spin and get stuck on the wall. Uh, oh, everyone scatter. Avoid Gliska. Someone's hit Gliska, but... So far, it looks like only one has uh, has managed that. We've got slides from cars ahead. We will sit in the draft a little bit here. I mean, I quite like the Warrener. It, it is not the... Ooh, it is not the easiest car to drive. It does have a bit more oversteer than, ooh, hey, than I would perhaps ideally like from my vehicles. Uh, however, uh, it does make it lively. It makes it fun to drive. It's not crazy oversteery either. Uh, Racing King, I apologise for a little bit of a squeeze. We got squeezed between Danger Man and everything. Oh, we're going to go six wide into a fast corner. Uh, and it is not going to work. It's not going to work for all of us. Although, we, it could have gone worse. It could have gone worse. It's uh, Ewan's taking the alternate route. Now, Ewan is going to get spat out at an awkward angle here. Got to be careful uh, with that. It is... It is pretty even. Oh, and Racing King's in the wall. <laughs> I knew someone. I, I have no doubt you're not the first to go. I mean, I nearly went in the wall on the first lap. I actually brushed it, um, but got going again. Yeah, it's a really easy mistake to make there. Uh, it, it's When you're racing on your own is one thing. When you're racing in a group of cars, your speed is different, You and especially when you've got slipstream. You gain speed in weird places sometimes. If you've just driven a lap on your own, sometimes you don't realise you're getting pulled towards... I'm not going to be able to get across because uh, the amount of cars... Actually, I might have done. I might have been able to there. Uh, there wasn't as many cars around as I thought there was. I think Ewan also backed out of trying to go on the lower line, so there was more space than I realised. Oh, Danger Man, I don't know, didn't realise Stevie was there, got a bit spooked. Um, either way, I don't think Danger Man realised that I was on the outside... Or didn't realise Cynthia was on the outside of me. Uh, in all of that. Unfortunately, we got a little tangled with uh, Mumbo having a crash there. Salmon. Oh, oh, don't get cars connected like that. That's not what we need. Salmon's in trouble. <laughs> it's the great arsehole wall, I think. Never mind wall of champions. It's just an arsehole wall. Not because the people who hit it are arseholes. I mean, as it's just a mean, it's a mean placement for a wall. I guess that was the intention uh, for this track. When I mean, it was designed on I said whichever gadget racer game it was. Uh, I cannot remember uh, which one Gliska said it was. Um, I'm sure Gliska will put in chat at the end of this race uh, when they're back or something. Uh, Stinty has gone for the aerial overtake and it hasn't worked there. Oh, we came with a lot of speed there and no one realised it's uh, quite, the, quite how fast the orange car was going to fire at the inside. Uh, and we're still sliding. And we're still sliding. And uh, Nephilia is here. Stinty, stop climbing over everybody. He cut down. I mean, the first time didn't work. The second time has gone a marginally better, but still didn't really work. Uh, we're on the outside. Oh, yes. Oversteery car. Let's rain. That's exactly what we need here. How many laps have we got? Oh, bugger me. This is going to get very, very difficult. Um, 
by the end of this race, I think. Unless it's only a short... If it's a short rain shower, we're fine. If this is a proper downpour, the last couple of laps are going to be really slidey because we're already having plenty of oversteer shenanigans as it is. We're three wide for the lead of the race. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we will be three wide over fifth place also. Can I get across? I can. We've got an amazing run. Uh, we got fired a little bit into the middle of this, but I'm okay with that. Uh, there's a car to the inside, probably somewhere. Yep, yeah, there's a Stevie to the inside. It's four wide. We barely fit four cars on there. I'm frantically trying to get the car back under control. We have done. Uh, <laughs> however, there's a lot of cars turning up. I'm going to try the alternate route to get myself out of trouble here. It's going to put me on a wonky line. No, I didn't really. It kind of worked. Gliska is multiple laps down, uh, so it's just in the group for fun. That's fine. don't really care. Um, I actually think that that alternate route when the group's that busy isn't the worst thing in the world. So it doesn't necessarily spit you out to... Oh, this is very slidey. Now, it doesn't spit you out. You don't necessarily gain places, but you also don't lose places because you're not in that crowd. If you can get neatly out of it, uh, which is tough, you haven't lost as much time, perhaps. We've got a massive run here. Who is that? Don't know. Uh, we are going to... Oh, get assisted. Get assisted by you and orange cars have fallen over one another. Uh, we are through that mess. Oh, it's... Yeah, the grip has just evaporated. It was slidey to start with, and now... Oh, it's Navreths. Of course it's Navreths who has found the place, has found where to get stuck. That was a big dive bomb. It kind of had to happen, though. Um, I mean, it was a clean pass. It was a dive, but that was a clean... It was a clean dive, and Racing King saw us come and realised had to get out of it at the last second and did, uh, and they lived to fight another day. Both of us lived to fight another day on this one. It's on to the final lap of the race. Now, whoa... I mean, curb boosting is actually now a risk in itself. You just have this huge risk of sliding uh, across the curb as the car gets upset, uh, like that, for example. Stevie got a big twitch mid-corner. Uh, Nafila got a big slide. Danger Man moved across to sort out their own jump, not realising the speed we were approaching. We are on the inside through here. It's more sliding from the cars ahead. Danger Man with a good exit. Anything could happen here, I think, with a couple of corners to go. It's a little bit ambitious trying to get to the inside there. Uh, there's going to be car hatting galore going on. We've got past Stevie. Cat has run out of the office at warp cat speed. Uh, I don't know what he saw. Uh, he's off. He's on one. It's me versus Danger Man, and I've got big oversteer mid-corner, and Danger Man will win this. There's nothing that we can do here. Although Danger Man is... Well, the catch-up was really, really pulling that. If I hadn't a big slide, if I hadn't had a big slide, we could have won that. Ah. Uh. God damn it. God damn it. And there's Nareths. You've made a slammed Warrener. Ugh. <laughs> uh. You have... How, how did you get stuck there? Cass is also confused. That was, again, another loud meow. Cass, buddy. He's not in the office, so it was a really loud meow if I heard it here. Uh, oh, that was a great race. I really enjoyed that one. The rain, I actually liked the fact that it started raining. That really mixed things up. Well done, Danger Man. You did a great job. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm slightly annoyed. I just, I just overdrove it. I just overdrove it into that last corner. Um... But that is how it goes sometimes. Yeah, it was, really, it was a really good race in very, very difficult conditions. A, a Woolala, a 20th coffee. Thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, I told my wife she needed to embrace her mistakes. So she hugged me. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to give you a boo for that one because I feel like I know someone who would do that. Um, so I quite like that one. That was, that was, that was quite good. Yeah, I'm not going to give you a boo on that one. Cass, you're really loud. What do you want, buddy? Do you want to come commentate for me? I could let you do this. And I could just continue drinking the cider and I'll be fine. Cass, do you want to do my work for me? Cass? Yes, hello. Hello, Cass. You, he has got so much energy currently. Uh, <laughs> what's up? Cass, Cass. I know. He, he knows I'm playing a game. So he, he knows... He knows not to jump on my lap when I have a controller. 
Uh, if I if I was just sat watching TV or watching YouTube, whatever. Come on, buddy. Nope. He knows. He knows I have a controller. He can't go and. Uh, or he knows I'm obviously doing something, so he won't go and sit on, like, climb on my lap uh, and sit like he would normally. He's just meowing and bumping into my leg and has now flopped. Okay, buddy. Uh, right, we will do that, do that. Uh, I think we are all set on, uh, on this. Cass, you're really strange, buddy. <laughs> oh... Yeah, if 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 we could if we could have the cat take over. Sadly, if I try to pick him up, he will be unhappy. He 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 does things on his own way. He doesn't like being picked up. Um, if he wants to car, if he wants to climb on my lap, he will. If I try to get him to sit there, to meow into the microphone, he will want to run away. Um, that is, and to be fair, that is the way cats often work. Uh, so there we go. Who knows? We will see what what he ends up doing. Oh. Uh, Donations, General Kenobi. Thank you very much for the uh, for the donation. I say thanks for the years of entertainment. Uh, I'm as ever glad glad to hear. I hope you are enjoying uh, tonight's mayhem of a stream. Uh, we had a, a decent sensible race um, in that previous one. We're on to the sports cars. This will be the Elegy Retro Custom, I believe. I believe. Uh, VRA Kieran, thank you very much for the donation. I say, looking forward to hopefully joining you when the enhanced version downloads. Oh, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Uh, hopefully you've got good internet. Uh, when F1 2022 releases, any chance of some live stream online races? It's definitely not impossible. It is, uh, it is definitely not impossible to see uh, some of those. Uh, I don't know what platform I might end up having on PC, though. Um, it'll depend on what I get sent. Um, so, yeah, there might be PC races. We will have to wait and see. But, yeah, there will probably be some stuff on that game. Uh, Matrix Marvel, thank you very much for the donation. I said thank you for all the great content. Currently recovering in hospital after breaking my femur. And I've been looking forward to this stream all day. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. Well, best of luck. Best of luck, indeed, with... Uh, with that, uh, I, I'm lucky. I've only ever broken... I've only ever broken one bone. I broke a finger playing rugby. Uh, however, I did tear ligaments in my ankle playing football, which is pretty bloody bad. Uh, it, it's... it's. I'm not going to say worse than a break. I guess it depends, but it, it's as certainly as bad. Um, and, yeah, that one... Uh, that, that one was not great. Um, it's still... I mean, it's, it, it healed pretty well. There's still sometimes, though, if I use it a lot, um, can end up being a bit uncomfortable. Um, so, yeah, there we go. But best of luck with the, with the recovery there. Um, we've had a really good first lap. We've managed to get out of trouble. Um, stay away from a lot of the chaos, which is always nice. Uh, now, of course, this lead will not stay. There is catch-up, there is slipstream, of course, and while this track isn't the biggest track uh, for catch-up because it doesn't have crazy long straights here, this is the part of the circuit where it matters. We've got these straights here where the cars with more power are going to enjoy it. They are going to make ground. Like this section here, the catch-up's irrelevant, and when they're in a big group, they can work together. And not only do they have catch-up, but they're slipstreaming off each other. So, yeah, there is uh, an element of teamwork going to go on. Although, they do sometimes clonk into one another and lose a lot of time. I just saw that bounce over there for somebody. <laughs> an orange car and a grey car had an issue. <laughs> they pinged out of the track. Um, so, there we go. Uh, that, was, that was quite a funny crash to watch. As, as, as I've always said... If you're going to crash, make sure it's spectacular and on camera. Oh, crap. I'm about to go and make the spectacular on camera crash if I didn't get that landing perfectly. Okay, so we've got Danger Man, Mute, Salmon, and Gliska, I think, are all catching. Oh, bloody hell, I didn't think Danger Man was going to be that close that quickly. I very nearly caused a very big accident. Salmon's done a very big jump. Got away with it. Mute is taking the alternate line. Uh, doesn't quite pay off. It could pay off if it was busy enough, but it wasn't. Oh, look, it's a reversal of the last race. This time around, the last lap uh, of the last race, this time around, though, we actually did beat Danger Man to the line. Um, 
I mean, I'm okay with this. Blakey's up there. Level 8 is coming through. We've got all of the toothpaste-coloured cars in this fight between Sam and Mute and Level 8 going on. Uh, we all get ourselves on a slow platform. I've got an itchy nose. Don't go underneath the platform like Nareth's. Uh, if there's a way to break a map, Nareth's finds it. Uh, <laughs> every time. Every time. Uh, I swear Nareth's has broken more maps than anybody else in... I actually see where... The car landed on the back of Danger Man. That's quite impressive level of damage. Yeah, you can see where Salmon landed on Danger Man. How it's crumpled with the boot. Now, we are on the inside through here. Uh, we will not feed Danger Man. We, I mean, that was close. We, there was space for a Danger Man. It was only just space, but there was space for a Danger Man on the... Uh, oh, on the outside. We will dive and we will get past Mute. Although Mute will have some room to fight back on the exit. We'll go side by side at the top of the hill. I haven't already got anywhere to go at the moment. We can get a good run here. Get to the inside. There is another toothpastey coloured car of level 8. Come to join us. Uh, right, we will, I guess, go to the inside. Oh, everyone's crisscrossing. There's going to be a little bit of in-air contact. It's fine. Someone bounced off our kind of boots. Oh, three wide in there is a lot. And thankfully... Whoever it was to the inside realised it wasn't quite going to work and backed out of it. And we've somehow got Danger Man in the lead again coming out of that corner. Okay. Can't curb boost. Mute's on the outside. Level 8 will get past us. We've got a couple of laps to go. As I said, as I said when I led, you know, no lead is going to last for too long here. Not with this amount of cars potentially working together. When you have a group of cars and us lot here all know what we're doing uh, well enough. We've raced together enough. Um know how to slipstream and work together a, a car leading the race can never really run away uh, we will keep danger man out wide but we are in the middle of this mute bobbles the curb and almost gets in trouble with that uh, we managed to cross over danger man oh uh, i think white noise was trying to get out of the way and just went the wrong side so, I mean, it's unfortunate for you and i think it was who came off worse in that <laughs> he's uh Hey, White Noise was trying to do the right thing, we just unluckily got caught out with cars every which way at very high speed there. I, I think White Noise might have spun on the landing of the jump or something and, and lost some speed. So, uh, yeah, it it happens, unfortunately. That's going to make life difficult for you, and I don't think you're going to be able to catch. I've just seen the amount of cars that are closing towards us. I'm a little concerned of how busy this final is going to be. This final, well, let's see, these final laps are going to be. Uh... I mean, we shut down Mute a little bit to the inside there. Sort of defensive. Oh, Blakey got scooped and we got scooped and Mute did really well to back out of that. Uh, <laughs> oh, pff. Amy's turned up and nearly rolled. Blakey recovered from all of that, which is actually quite impressive considering. Uh, I think a couple of the turquoisey cars dove to the inside there to get out of all of that. Uh, right. Let's uh, again get a great run. I mean, uh, oh, Blakey would have snuck both of us. It is now the final lap of the race. Let's hope the back marker stays out of the way here. Uh, we have got a good run up the hill. I mean, this does actually help Blakey a little bit. Uh, just, yeah, bump the back marker out of the way. We've been pushed forward by, I think Gliska's turned up now. Um, possibly, or it was another one. Yeah, it was Gliska's turned up there. We kind of bumped the back marker out of the way. We've got a huge, huge um, lead here. Uh-oh. Oh, we did have, I mean, like, hugely for considering the group. Danger Man leads into the twisties again. Uh, I've got a car on the outside. Mute backs out of it. Uh, we are a little bit narrow on the inside through there, and Danger Man's going to be far enough away again to do this. Yeah, we can't do anything. God damn it. Danger Man has got it again. I think me and Mute fighting just a little bit because I got held tight uh, and Mute got stuck on the outside having to lift uh, to not clonk into me. That was a great race. That was a really, really good race. Um, fair play to Danger Man managing to uh, <laughs> to get two victories. I just... Uh, I could just never get myself in the right place at the right time for that one. Oh, dear. Um... Still, that was uh, that was that was some good fun. Those are good cars to drive. That is uh, that is for sure. Ah.
Well, there we go. Hey, we did hit the donation goal. Thank you very much. Sorry, I shall read. Uh, I shall read the donations. Thank you very much, everybody uh, who has sound of white noise. Thank you uh, for the for the donation. Saying also, I very much apologise for anyone that I got in the way of, which is my general not being able to drive. Um, hey, look, everyone's got to start somewhere uh, when it comes to uh, comes to GTA Five. Uh, you know, I say you would definitely try to do the do the right thing in that one, and. Uh, just got yourself in a little bit of trouble. I also just realized two people... So, sorry. N8 has also uh, been incredibly generous and donated the what would be the exact right amount of money to take it to the goal uh, just after somebody else did. So thank you very, very much indeed. Um, sorry, I'll get to those in a second. Uh, jo joggy? Uh, I don't know if uh, I'm pronouncing that one correctly, but thank you. Uh, for the nation, saying, "What do you use as your control as your controller, keyboard controller, or steering wheel?" So it depends on what I'm playing. Currently, I am using a controller. Uh, I have I have the uh, Horizon Five Edition Xbox controller as my go-to. Uh, it's surprising how different all the Xbox controllers bloody are. Um, the brake trigger, the brake trigger on my um, uh, Horizon controller is unbelievably sensitive. Uh, it's taken me so long to get used to it, but now if I drive on any other controller, I just never stop into a corner because I'm using the wrong brake pressure. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I generally I generally play games on an Xbox controller, whether it be on Xbox, whether it be on PC. Uh, I do have a wheel. I do have a racing wheel. I do have a sim rig set up for when I'm doing more serious stuff. So if it's a set of course, uh, Project Cars, I've played that for a long time. Maybe iRacing, Formula One, I sometimes play on a wheel. In that sort of game, I do play on wheel and I mean there is also things like long drive for example that I'll play on a keyboard uh, because the exploring is sort of a bigger part of it than um, the actual driving aspect if you like so I'd rather have keyboard and mouse for the exploring and shooting aspect but uh, yeah for the majority of stuff you see me do it'll be on a controller uh, whoop <laughs> that's got very weird uh <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Uh, Blindas, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying Cass is feeling left out uh, due to Goodwood uh, still waiting for his cardboard race car. Oh, I've got loads of cardboard hanging around as well. Cass, how do you feel? Yes, you. I'm talking to you. How do you feel about a cardboard race car? You still want it? You still up for it? Yeah? He's just looking at me like I'm an idiot. Uh... <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I still need to do that at some point. Christ, I had forgotten about that. Thank you for reminding me. Um, that is... Uh, yeah, maybe we'll see that at some point in the not-too-distant future. Uh, jo joggy, joggy, uh, however your name is pronounced, and I know I'm doing it wrong, thank you very much uh, for that incredibly generous donation. Let's say that's the Fury engine rebuild paid for. Uh, we did it. We have indeed hit the donation goal, and, and thank you very much to N8, who went and did basically the exact same thing a minute later. Uh, <laughs> it is very much appreciated. Uh, thank you. Um, I mean, thank you to everybody who has donated over uh, the the streams. Um, it is it is greatly appreciated. I hope I don't know how long it's going to be until I get the Fury on the road, how, until I get the parts and so on. But um, it shall hopefully not be a million miles away. Uh, so yeah, thank you. Uh, not the Yadders. Uh, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying now that's racing. It was a good race. It's uh, it was a very very good race that one. It was a very good race. Shall we go and do something that will not be a very good race, but will be very funny? Uh, I feel like that is a good idea. Uh, we are going to go to, I think, the first really ridiculously dumb track that uh, became part of the streams. Uh, where is it? I've lost it. Don't tell me I've lost it. There it is. <laughs> You can see how old it was. It was updated for 2020. Um, Oval of Misfortune. Was this the first Brazen Madness track? I think it was. If you've never seen this track before, you are in for a treat. It is just complete chaos. This one. Um... <sighs> We will invite everybody in from from the last job. So, we are going to... I'm going to do the... Close eyes. We'll cycle through the categories. We're going to drive sports cars here. Uh, 
I am going to say you can drive what you want. However, you can't have an armored car. So you're not allowed the armored Karuma or any of the other armored vehicles that uh, that might get picked here. Uh, I know what I'm going to drive. Um, I have a plan for this one. I don't know whether it's going to work, but I have a plan. We're going to see if it uh, if it does. Um, we've driven all sorts of vehicles around here. We've driven the Junes around here. We've driven limos around here. We've driven... But yeah, plenty of wacky stuff. I'm trying to remember everything that, uh, that we have driven. We've driven a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a, a, a lot of possibility for chaos here. Um, I, I have a plan. It might not work. There's a, there's, a, there's a few different schools of thought you can go for around this track. If you would like to take part, we've still got a couple of places here. Uh, Ewan is the person to message alongside where we have highlighted currently. Uh, you're going to be playing the enhanced version on Xbox if you would like to take part, but send you in a message and he will try and get you connected at some point for this so we can, yeah, continue to race and cause mayhem, pretty much. Uh, I think, I don't know if we've got anybody on the way, we might just get this started. Um, if you do get an invite and you join once the race has started, don't worry, you'll be in spectate mode, but you will be able to take part uh, in the next round, so to speak. Uh, eight laps. I mean, it's a very short lap, but it will it will feel a lot longer than a mile, owing to the mess that will almost guaranteed occur. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, my plan. In fact, I can say my plan about now because the session will have started by the stream delay. Um, I've gone the wrong way through here. Uh, my plan is very simple. Be about as immovable as I possibly can be um, with this. I'm going for a tank, essentially. Uh, I'm going for the Revolta. The theory is, it's not the quickest car here. It's fairly decent, but this is not going to be the fastest car around a lap here if we were running a hot lap session when there was no one else on the track. The thing is... There are other cars on the track. There's going to be cars coming head on. There's going to be cars hitting the side. And the Revolta is very big and very heavy. So in those collisions, it's going to win. Downside, with some of the very low slung sports cars, I might get scooped. I don't know. But there is a very real possibility. I think a lot of people have gone for a similar idea. There's a few other alternatives. There's Bestia. There's a couple of GTR. I don't know if I want an Italia GTO around here. Uh, they're bouncy, bouncy, fall off the circuity. Uh, Neon might be not terrible. It doesn't have very good brakes, but that doesn't really matter here. It is quick accelerating. Uh, oh, and someone has already exploded. Mumbo Jumbo is gone. Uh, <laughs> oh, Gliska is there to the inside. Oi, we're going to go over there. Uh, Gliska is still to the inside. Someone else has exploded uh, on the thing there. The problem is, is, we've got a great lead here, but we're about to go head on into... Oh, Gliska with a slipstream actually jumped over. I've never seen a car jump over that platform. These are faster than the vehicles we normally race around here. Um, that is true. Gliska with a massive slipstream pull actually managed to jump an obstacle. Uh, oh, and then Gliska caught a Blakey to the face. Team Orange working well together right there. Uh, I am uh, going to sit around there. Uh-oh. Oh, no, wait, because you're all going... Uh, you're all going the other way. I do not want any part of this. Oh, bloody hell. I'm going to just stick out wide. Someone's gone for a bloody SUV because somehow the strainer or whatever it's called is classed as a sports car. So the first lap's not too bad. It's about to get so much worse as everyone's crisscrossing. I think we can sneak to the inside here. That's fine. Oh, Bacon is almost falling off, and I might not have helped them there. Sorry, Bacon. <laughs> I think I put you into trouble there. Oh, go, Mafia, go. We're going to sneak past on that bit. Uh, I also just saw someone's game tag is Fart Concert, which is brilliantly dumb. <laughs> what a game tag. Hello, sound of white noise. Let's go. Let's go. Uh-oh. 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 Through the middle. Oh, we did that silly dance of trying to go either way. Um, get back on here. Oh, I, I didn't want to get pushed off, which I reset. Oh, so I kind of dove off that side. Uh, oh, there is, a, I think, a comet or something. Oh, 
glad that took the jump because we were cutting across it. Okay, so we've lost some ground in that. Ooh, I'm not sure who we are racing. I think we're racing possibly the Jester. We might be racing Mute. Um, Mute, Gliska, and Childish are the cars to beat. Childish might be in that Jester. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we are across there. Whoa. Look, that's a little bit of lag going on from there. Foul track is stuck. Oh, that's Nine Tails in the Jester. Whoop. There's a Ewan turned up. Uh, I am going to hit this jump because it is... It's safer to take the jump just because you might be in the air when cars that are actually racing on the circuit come past. It's just... <laughs> airtime is safer than not airtime, basically. Can I jump the whole thing like Gliska did? No! We can almost murder Mute, though. Gliska's got in trouble up here as well. This is the battle for second. Oh, Mute found a sticking point. There's a lot of cars rushing towards us. We've ducked to the inside. Oh, I'm sorry, blue car. Uh, we were alongside, but... Oh! Hello! We have turned up with some speed. Ghost Inti Go will help you. Uh, <laughs> it's just anything that's forward movement for me is good. Oh, crap. Hey! We're alive somehow. I don't know how. No idea. I don't even know what car we're trying to catch. I don't know what to look out for in the distance. That was a little bit unfortunate. That was a lot more unfortunate. Uh, that's just, I mean, it's pushed us back. It could have gone a lot worse. Could have gone a lot worse there. Uh, we are clear, actually, to stay on the circuit. Is it Childish in the Mini, maybe? Uh, not sure. No, I, I, yeah, yeah. no, actually, can't be, because that would be way... That would be nine seconds. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Gliska. Ugh. We helped Gliska forward. I think Mute ended up in the door uh, a bit by accident. There's Amy with a Corvette. Uh, we are through that. Oh, well, we've kind of put Amy off the circuit a little bit. Purple car's going to murder us. Uh, please be going quick enough. Oh, how, how on earth did we survive that? <laughs> oh, that was one of the closest to death things. Oh, fart concerts cause problems. I mean, I imagine a fart concert would, let's be honest. Um, but cause problems for Gliska Ewan with stunt of the day so far. Oh, crap. Sorry, Nines. That's why I have a Revolta. Because in that battle, the Revolta wins. That was a head-on collision at some speed against a Jester. And it just did nothing to my car. It just didn't... It barely slowed it. I didn't know where Nugs was going, so I figured the safest thing was to go on the brakes. And we were through, you know, cleanly and everything. Okay. We are up to second. We're about to wipe out... Oh, Blakey's put... Char Actually, Blakey's put Childish... Oh, well, I say put Childish on there and then... You know, they were fighting for a little bit of road, and Childish has fallen off the containers, and we have now got the lead. Hello, Mew. <laughs> we did the silly dance again. Only that time we were going slow enough that I didn't get pinged off. We're back to the lead of the race around this madness. A wool allure has come in. Thank you. I shall read it uh, in a second, because currently I am focused on the race at hand. Uh, we will whoa, give Bacon a help. Oh, I've made that quite difficult. Sorry, Bacon, actually, that was more on me. Uh, <laughs> I kind of pushed Bacon towards a container they did not want to be on because it was busy, it was full of cars. Uh, this I don't want to be a part of either. I'm going to jump just in case anything is heading towards us. Yeah, you can't go up the, that, that part of the circuit there, mate. <laughs> oh, dear. There's Mute. We're almost lap. Mute was battling with us for the lead at one point. Things have gone horribly wrong for Mute there. Oh, hello, Level 8. Goodbye, Level 8. <laughs> Again, that's why I have a Revolta. It is disgustingly powerful at pushing cars out of the way, but I've beansed it because I'm a twat. Um, we've fallen off. Let's get back on there. Ugh. We didn't lose the lead in all of that. That was just badly driven by me. I just misjudged. I was getting carried away a little bit too much speed, and yeah, we just misjudged the uh, kind of landing zone there. That's probably karma for punting level 8 off. Oh, go on, Jester. We'll get you going forward a little bit. Oh. Stevie with a weird little lag spiky bit going on there. Oh, Jester's stumbled off. Uh, we are heading up towards... Well, we're on the final lap. There are cars every which way. Hello, Amy, again. I feel like I've seen your Corvette quite a lot in this race. Oh, I'm going to see a lot more of it if I'm not careful. Uh, oh, Hot Ring Sabre. That's a bad place to be. Bad place to be with a very powerful and heavy all-wheel drive car around because we will just we will just push the hot ring wherever we want here. Uh, okay, thank you, turquoisey car. Is that Amy again? How is that Amy again? Oh, because of course, because we got stuck on that 
thing. Well, we're going this way. We're going this way, everybody. <laughs> Revolta is so bad. This is why the Revolta is banned whenever we play sumo. Not that we've played sumo for a long time. The Revolta is so unbelievably strong in terms of pushing cars. That is why it is banned. Um, it is so strong for this sort of stuff. I thought we were on the final lap. Maybe we aren't. Have we got one more time around? Really? I've got to survive this another time. I miscounted my laps. I swore it said 8 out of 8 last time around. Oh, hello. That's about the only thing that can... Ah, go, go. I'm trying to turn you so you're back pointing the right way. Oh, I found Amy again. Oh, Stinty. That's a line. Uh-oh. Get on there. Right, we are 13 seconds clear of Childish. I still don't know what car Childish is driving. I, I saw it very briefly, and my brain, it's it's gone out of the brain sieve. Oh, dear, Bacon. Uh, well, you and felt the brunt of that one. Not intentional, but the little mini was never going to come off well in that collision. Uh, <laughs> right, we are clear, actually. Oh, we got a boost from something behind. Uh, there's some cars. There's some more cars. Hello for- Oh no! We've made a pile! <laughs> That's not supposed to happen there. We've made a very big mess. Ewan's made that jump. Uh, we will be a little bit careful heading up here. I don't know where. There's going to be some cars. I found Amy again. Oh, there's Nugs. There's Ewan. And there's a gap. We're going to find this gap. That'll work. Uh, oh, there's Childish, who was our main rival, really, for this. And, oh... Amy in our weird lap apart race. Amy is going to technically win, however. Victory! It was for the cheesiest of cheesy cars, I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> uh. A GTA, okay, it was Italia for Childish. A Bestia in third, potentially for Gliska with another Italia GTO in fourth. Stinty's done pretty well, actually, with the drafter uh, back there. Oh dear. Um, yeah, the. I say, funnily enough, not a massive surprise. Revolt is very, very strong in that one. The mini was not so strong. Oh, hey, Blakey made it across. The Reths did not. Where is. That's not who I was going to look at. Ewan was the person we were going to try and find. Uh, <laughs> Ewan is in 17th place with. Uh, with that mini and Ewan's having a bad day. It's just the, the problem with the, uh, the problem for the mini is if it gets hit by anything, it's going to lose. The Revolta will beat most cars here. It'll, it'll be a bit of a uh, it'll, it'll be a bit of a, a more even contest against like the Neon and that. So oh boy, Ewan just wants to go down a circuit. Uh, like the Neon and a couple of other cars, it'll be a bit more even contest with. Um, but. Yeah, the Mini just loses to everything. And this is a circuit where you can't really afford that. It's funny to watch, but you, you, you're you going to be in trouble. Um, who is the highest? Did anyone else... Danger Man did pretty well. He's doing pretty well, actually, with the Sultan Classics. be running up in ninth. Oh, that's a good flip and a crash. Um, the other Revolta of Valtrek is in sixth at the moment. Ewan has, funnily enough, had to reset. Um... <sighs> I swear I saw another mini. Uh, there is another page. So let's go find where the other mini is. Uh, uh, Mr. Marsman also in a mini. Having a worse time. So far, Amy was seventh. So Amy was essentially um, a lap down in seventh. That's how bad things went for a lot of cars. <laughs> Jeez. Um... Yeah, that is probably one of the best um, runs I've ever had here. Like, it wasn't perfect. I don't think you ever could get a perfect run. However, in terms of... Oh, Danger Man gets fastest lap, actually, with Assaulted, although fell to 12th by the end. Uh, in, in terms of a total race run... Um, that is one of the best you could ask for here. It was unbelievably trouble-free for me. I, partly because we did have the very heavy car. Hello, Cass. You've come back to say hello again. How are you doing, buddy? You are very attention seeky tonight. Eve's just curled up and asleep. But Cass wants all the fuss. He, you probably won't hear his, his meows. He's, he's very quiet compared to Eve. Um, in fact, actually, him and Abaddon are both very quiet. Uh, compared to compared to Eve. I don't know whether that's just Eve is loud. 
Uh, although, to be fair, Abaddon can be loud. Um, Cass, Cass has just never been loud. I'm not sure why all the filming crew members are just shouting John. Is there a relevance to John? Is it just like Barry or whatever the other dumb names were that uh, <laughs> were on the car? What was it? Hank? Hank was Lados. We had Barry. I can't remember all of them now. There was a lot of dumb names put on cars. Um... <laughs> Uh, oh, apparently Amy says, I sh it, Amy shouted mumbo jumbo, but it cut out so people only heard John. <laughs> sure. Okay, that's that's where that comes from, I guess. That's that's where that comes from. Uh, Lado, thank you for the donation. Uh, saying, blowen, showen, own. I don't know why. Um, but thank you very much for the donation, Lado. Uh, sure, thank you for the donation. Uh, saying, is your cat... The Cass of the Commentator. Oh, dear. I'm not going to give you a boo because you made a good effort. It's, it's it's the best effort we've had at a terrible pun involving a cat name. So I'm personally not going to give you a boo. Chat might feel differently about that one. Um, chat might, might feel differently. We will have to wait and see. This next one, of course... Of course, we have got to, dra to drive dunes. Yes, the mighty Dakar truck is uh, going to be used. Everybody, please use the... Uh, please use the dune, and yeah. I mean, if you don't, you're probably going to get bullied off the circuit quite a lot. Uh, but yeah, please, please use the dune. It's going to be very dumb. I'm just going to do that, because it's going to be painful. It's going to be very silly. It's going to be quite a painful race, and we will see how it uh, how it goes. There are a couple of spaces if you do want to join. Ewan is the person to message. Uh, the game tag. In fact, Amy's just put it in the chat as well. Um, yeah, alongside where I have highlighted here, send you in a message on Xbox. You've got to have the enhanced version of GTA, and of course, be playing on Xbox. Um, but we have currently got a couple of spaces left. So uh, yeah, you you may well. Um, be able to uh, to uh, get in. I don't think we're going to be able to have another clean race like that. I, I I somehow don't think we're going to have another good run. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Marsman, thank you very much for the donation. Saying the mini is not it. Uh, yep, uh, that was. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you found out the hard way. It was funny to watch. It was it was funny to watch them get flung off the map. Um, but it was not the vehicle you wanted in that in that battle. Um, <laughs> uh, it's e Eki Sky saying, "Can we message you and feet pics?" Yeah, sure, if you want. Anyway, just if, go for it if if you want to do that. Don't ask how that started. I don't even remember how that started. I blame Lado entirely for it, um, mostly because I'm sure it is Lado's fault. But uh, yeah, uh, everyone, race Dakar trucks, please. I feel like this is going to quickly get away from us. Um, <laughs> uh, Rory Foolin, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, with Cass there, it becomes the casting booth. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to give you a boo either. I'm not going to give you a boo. I like that one. That was good. Um, again, chat probably will. However, I thought that was pretty good going. Uh, right, orange. There we go. Here is our Dakar truck. This is about to get really, really bad. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, the, the thing, the advantage I have, which is, it is true, uh, me being host, I will start on pole, and that means we probably get through turn one okay, and we get a, we could have a pretty big advantage by the end of that, just because we're in clear air. It doesn't mean that it's going to um, stay like that, of course, a lot can happen, however... Um, we will see. There's a couple more will alerts. Thank you very much, folks. I shall read those out at the end of this race. Oh, dearie me. Uh, that is not lined up as well across there as I thought it was. We, Both me and whoever is in the truck behind me very nearly fell off immediately. 
and that would have been embarrassing. Having won the first time around here. Oh god, we're getting pushed. Uh oh dear. <laughs> Stevie's picked the wrong truck and we've fallen off. We did get two kills in a race where we're not supposed to kill. Or well, it's not really the goal to kill, not even supposed to be able to kill, but we got pushed around and that was what happened. <laughs> oh dear. Uh oh. Oh no, Salmon, I'm sorry. Oh no, Salmon's fine. I thought that was about to be death, but it actually kind of worked out. We sort of tipped each other sideways. However, we got through it. We came out the other side, second and third. Mumbo Jumbo is to the outside here, and this is about to go desperately wrong. Uh, there's a bike involved. Oh, is Level 8 the leader? Possibly. Oh, we've blocked the track. We have blocked the track. More trucks are turning up. Nephilia is stuck. Uh, push! Push! Vortex is desperately trying to stay out of the way. We are through. Uh, someone's on our roof. Is that Danger Man? It might be Danger Man. Uh, Level 8 made it through. White Noise is ahead of us, is bobbling and almost lost control. Uh, Nereth is trying to do this on a bike. I feel like that's dangerous. <laughs> I feel like that's very dangerous right there. Um, I mean, it would technically... In some ways, it's probably faster and better in as far as it can um, dodge quite well. Oh dear, level 8, we're going this way. Uh, nudge, 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 go, go, go. <laughs> it's just, find a gap, push the truck ahead of you through it, and when you're the leader, you become the kind of ram raid, uh, essentially. Stevie's insurgent's having a bad day, partly because it's probably being bullied. Oh, we're going for the lead! We're not going for the lead. Um, we're going, well, we have got the lead. That was not what was intended. We just carried a million miles an hour at a point we weren't expecting. Oh no! God damn it. Level 8 also got bumped from behind. Everything's just gone wrong there for us. Uh, we've fallen to second. A mute had a weird respawn. There, there's some weirdness going on there. Is that Stinty in a Kalahari? Oop. We're just going to... I'm going to throw there. I'm going to reset. There was an idea. There was a theory. And it's mostly worked. Blakey's leading on a bike. That, that will not do. Blakey. Blakey... <laughs> <laughs> Blakey was leading with a bike. <laughs> Blakey's not leading anymore because he got caught on a ramp. Oh, I don't know where Gliska went. Uh, well, Blakey's bike theory... Is, I mean, Blakey's bike theory has basically done the two things. It can fit through gaps a truck can't. It gets bullied by a truck. Hello. <laughs> so, it's kind of the glass cannon. It might work amazingly well. It might be terrible. As Nereths is finding out on the other side of it. Oh no, level 8 killed it. Not intentionally, of course. I shouldn't have really tried going around the outside there. That was a little bit ambitious and very rubbish from me. Nereths, yeah, is finding out that the bike doesn't always work. Ah! Now we've got a wheeling salmon towards us. I don't want to go that way. No, 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 no. I don't want to go that way. This is the part of the lap that I'm on. Hello, Blakey. Uh, Blakey is ahead of us. Oh, no! Oh, here and gave us a help. Whoa! That was a very big help from somebody. Uh, bacon is being thrown around everywhere. And we're into fourth. It's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, we can't really go backwards. We definitely can't go forwards here. Uh, <laughs> oh. Well, we have now kind of been flung clear and Gliska's in the middle of that mess. Uh, yeah, like the, the normal cars might be easier to drive, but the sheer number of trucks means they just don't stand a chance. Uh, it's just the momentum of the Dakar trucks is too great to resist a lot of the time. Uh, we are in fourth. I don't even know who's on our lap, who isn't on our lap. Uh, most trucks are just bouncing off the wall. We might be third now, technically. Uh, I'm just going to follow the horde. Stinty in the Kalahari. Let's go, let's go, let's go, small man. You're going to have a bad day here. Oh, I'm having a bad day. I'm having a worse day. I've fallen off. <laughs> oh, we've fallen to seventh. It's actually got fairly close. Yeah, it's oh, what the hell happened there? It is fairly close between a lot of us. Thank you. Less thank you. Uh... Fart concert, can you not just round? I'm just doing a five-point turn in the middle of the road. Sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Ah. Uh, it's gone wrong. It's really gone wrong. Stevie, you cheat. Oh, well, and you <laughs> call cool, Stevie a cheat, and Stevie immediately falls over. Oh, no. Uh, damn it. 
How did we climb out of that? Actually, well, Stevie's cheating did help me at least get out of that mess. That was that was one plus point there. Uh, Blakey has had a problem on the jump, and I've had a problem on the jump as well. How did that happen? I don't even know how that that occurred. Hello, chat. If you're just joining into this utter mess of a race, uh, I I don't know how to describe it other than it's just chaos personified. Um, we're battling with seventh with Stevie, who is in the wrong vehicle. That that insurgent. While it's very strong, it has so many problems on these jumps that I think a Dakar truck is legit going to beat it. I mean, we're, we're only fighting over 7th, and I just don't think that can run enough laps on its own. Like, I think it just has problems with these landings so much that it can't go quick enough. Uh, who am I actually racing? Mr. Marshman, this is for position. This is for 6th place at the moment. Stinty has tried to help us, and it's gone a bit wrong. Uh, oh, dear. We want to go this way. Actually, I think you do as well, small man, don't you? Possibly? Maybe? I don't really know anymore. I don't know who's on what part of the lap. Ewan's going to get pushed. There's a lot of woolaloos. I thank you all very much. Uh, I shall read those in a minute uh, when we're not in this cluster of trucks. Uh, this is another, me another, oh, another good use for the term cluster truck. Um, not only is it an awesome little jumpy game, I don't know, what, don't know how, what to describe it as, uh, how the hell I got away with that, I will never know. It's actually put us up to third. Mute leads Blakey second uh, in all of this. We now run in third. Somehow. Um, oh, that's a level eight. This is a mess that we're coming up to. Uh, hope! <laughs> hey, we lead! <laughs> that was shit. I think... I think I might possibly have killed a Blakey. Uh, <laughs> I was just full throttle, didn't look where I was going. Throw the Dakar truck into the mix and see what happens. Oh, that was actually a really lucky bounce as well. I'm going to follow a Gliska. Vortex, how have you got there? You're not supposed to be on that bit of the track, but never mind. Uh, oh, truck, please land, please land, please land. Uh, well, we're going through here. Yeah, we had enough momentum behind us. What has gone on? What has gone on here? Level 8 stuck on their side. Danger Man has fallen over. Uh, we've got the momentum. It's just the critical mass of Dakar trucks meant that that, that, that line was going forward. Uh, there is Woolaloos occurring. Again, I thank you. I shall read in a minute. Currently, we are leading the cluster truck of a race. Uh, we lead by four seconds. Danger Man is our closest rival. Where did Danger Man come from, actually? I didn't think they were... I don't think I thought they were a lap down. I must have got their positions wrong at some point. Um, now, where is this critical mass of trucks? I know you're trying to go. Look, when it gets to this stage, you're better off just resetting. Critical mass is here. Nine Tails has turned up. Uh, oh, Danger Man. We know Danger Man is for position. Mute has turned up. Is also for position. Danger Man is desperately trying to cling on, but it's not worked here. Um, sorry, Kieran. You were kind of stuck in my rear corner, and I couldn't steer away from that one. Uh, there is... Where are we going to... I don't even know what lap number we're on here. Charles is on the side. Oh, this is the final lap of the race. I should have dove more to the inside there to try and make that one work. Mute is going to win this, I think, unless something happens, which is always possible here on the Dakar truck circuit. Uh, I guess decide it didn't work. Mute takes victory. Ah, oh, we will cross the line in second. <laughs> oh... I mean, good race in a very silly way. Sorry, Danger Man, for uh, the mess. We are hoping to, we could get the whole pack through. It didn't quite work. Ah. Oh, bloody hell. I got fastest lap! 103.3. <laughs> oh, Danger Man third. Blakey will cross the line in fourth. Not bad for a bike to uh, survive that into fourth. I know at one point we punted Blakey off. Um, oh, that was good fun. That was... I mean, it was it was dumb. That's the point of this track. It is not a sensible race here. Who is the highest... Okay, so Blakey with the Sanchez um, is... I say fairly impressive. Who is the highest... Ewan is the highest right, ridiculous vehicle. The Insurgent's very strong. Terrible on the landings, but is very strong. Um... So I don't really count that as a silly vehicle. Noreths and Blakey were on bikes that have insane grip but get 
boxed in. Yeah, Ewan is doing quite well with the June buggy. It's ahead of Gliska with the injection and Stinty with the Kalahari that somehow isn't last. I know a few of the vehicles are parked and stopped, but still. But, well, <laughs> Stinty has been thrown. Ewan has not been thrown. How did you survive that? Well done, Ewan. Oh, dear. Um, while the end of this race is going on, I shall catch up with some, some donations. Hello, Cass, again. You've come to headbutt me. Um, WK Bacon, thank you very much for the donation. I like a spy was covered in ground beef. He was a minced spy. That... That is definitely going to be a boo to you from chat and from... Uh, definitely going to be a boo from me, probably from chat too. Uh, H2G2, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, sorry I'm late. Uh, I've been seeing my parents, sister and baby nephew all day. Uh, anyway, what do you... What do you call a disembodied olfactory organ? No... Body knows. That's just a sigh. Definitely a boo from me, and most definitely from chat, I would imagine, as well. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dima, thank you for the donation. Uh, saying, a fabulous carnage. It was. That was. It was a cluster truck. It was a cluster truck. Um, <laughs> the dunes around this circuit are always the most ridiculous thing. Uh, I love it. Uh, Petrol Head, thank you for the donation. Uh, saying, uh, so is Eve the Eve of Misfortune? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes she can be. Sometimes she's just a curled up asleep cat, which is currently what she's doing. Uh, Kian Lane, thank you very much for the, uh, for the donation. Uh, saying, it's my birthday today, so what better way to celebrate that than Prosecco and this stream? Ah, well... Happy birthday to you, indeed. Uh, that is definitely one way to uh, one way to do it. Personally, I'm not the biggest lover of Prosecco myself, but if you like it, go for it. Um, that is, yeah, not a terrible way just to spend a birthday, certainly. Uh, Nicholas, thank you very much for the donation, uh, saying the puns in here are right out catastrophic. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Cass, what do you think of that pun? Well, he meowed at me. I don't know whether that's an approval or a dislike. Uh, I'm going to go with a... It was a dislike. Hold on. Do I still have this? Is this still working? I have no idea if this is actually currently... It is still working. The lighting in here is terrible. Ignore that. Um, but if we go... Yes, hello. I'm here. If we go... Here is a kitty Cass. Here he is. Here he is. This is what he does. When he wants attention, he will just wander around and he will... Cass, I don't want your butt on the... Cass, come back here. Here we go. Here is a kitty Cass. He wanted some attention. we got to give the cat some attention. And then there's the other one up there. She's just asleep. Uh, so... <laughs> there we go. Um, for all the cat puns... We will have a little a little cat cam. Who knows what uh, Cass is going to get up to by the end of all of this? Um, he is in a really attention-seeky mood. Uh, <laughs> it's, I mean, it is like him a bit. It's not like him normally for this long. Normally, he has a little bit of zoomies, and uh, then he wanders off. But no, tonight he is just he wants all the attention. Uh, Senor Blanco, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying this race is so chaotic. Well done to all the races for not abandoning it. It is the most. I mean, we've, we've done a lot of we've done a lot of silly races. We've done a lot of crazy races. Um, without a doubt, that is it was one of the early ones, and it is one of the most ridiculous. Um, it, it is completely crazy. It, there's been a couple of attempts at recreating the the magic um, that have been with various degrees of success. Um, it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the original is still, I think, my favourite. There is a, a, a track that links a bunch of brazen ones together that's also quite chaotic, uh, but not quite in the same, not in the same condensed manner that you get at uh, the Oval of Misfortune. Uh, H2G2, thank you very much for the donation. I was saying, all these cat puns have me feline good. Nareth's has turned up with the obligatory helicopter crash, and definitely a boo to you from chat and from me. Oh! Ow! Stevie booped me into a tree! <laughs> that was very unpleasant. That was very uncalled for indeed. Bloody hell, Stevie. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Kian Lane, thank you very much for the donation. 
Uh, oh, the similar message. I don't know whether you sent two by accident. Um, but oh, also saying thanks for all the amazing content. Uh, well, thank you, thank you very much for both the donations. I hope you are having a good birthday over there. I hope we can provide plenty of entertainment um, for you uh, with the remainder of this stream. Uh, let us go to here. Uh, uh, maybe a little, yeah, maybe not going to go for a narrow circuit. Um, the reason I tend to avoid the really narrow circuits when we're running 30 people is that there's a very legit likelihood that we're going to get stuck. Um, oh, Donington-ish is a fun circuit. We can go here. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, a Perzu? I don't know how to pronounce again. I'm sorry. I'm going to get names wrong. But thank you very much for the donation. Saying glorious chaos as always. Uh, greeting from Poland, by the way. Oh, and it's pronounced uh, Pushev? Pushev, I think. I'm again going to probably have got that one wrong. But <laughs> you've told me how to pronounce it. I'm not very good with words. It is a problem considering what my job is. Um, but I'm very good at messing up words. Although I guess for doing YouTube it's fine because it's Vaguely entertaining, maybe. Um, uh, hopefully is entertaining. Uh, Cosmic, thank you very much uh, for the donation. Uh, saying in memory of Reese. Uh, Reese, uh, the, I say, he's, he's still very much alive. Don't worry. Um, did did you know? Built plenty of great tracks for us uh, over the years. Got fed up of, of fighting with GTA, which is very understandable. It's a horrible, horrible game to work with a lot of the time. Uh, especially in the creator. It's a horrible game to work with in terms of filming, but in especially the creator, it's terrible. Um, it is, sadly, at this stage, the most stable game that we film on. Uh, <laughs> and that's saying something. Forza is supposed to be a little bit better. It's still not... The last update is supposed to fix some of the issues, maybe, but we'll wait and see. We still have never got through... Our sort of versus the communities, or the equivalent of what a team adventure should be. We have still yet, after all this time, yet to get through one with everyone staying connected the entire time. We've never completed all five races with 12 people staying connected. This just Ooh. never happens. Uh, which is, uh, yeah, says a lot. Uh, actually, no, maybe B multiplayer is the most stable game that we have, we, we play. That is a legit possibility that B multiplayer, because we filmed on it twice, and it worked very well. And we tested a couple of times, separate sessions, and didn't have any issues. B multiplayer might be the most stable game that we filmed on. Um, so, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, if you want to take part, so we'll give a couple of minutes to get some people in. Uh, Ewan is a person to message whose game tag like, is below Stevie's. Below the one we have highlighted here, send you in a message on Xbox. Uh, we've got to be playing on the. You've got to be on the enhanced edition, but he will try and get you connected uh, to this uh, to this session. Uh, I don't remember what cars. I'm thinking this one is locked though, so that should be fine. Uh, the BFJ, thank you very much for the donation, uh, saying that uh, that last joke was abs absolutely cas catastrophic. <laughs> Uh, I'm about 15 minutes behind. Uh, so well, I probably read out the donations fairly close together then, but that... Actually, no, wait, hold on, because you'd have to have heard it. Or, uh, it's going to be a boo. It's going to be a boo to you. Um, it is going to be a boo to you from me and, indeed, from chat. Um, oh, if you've got no noise, I will try and get everybody back in. Uh, can I... Oh no! It says you're. It says it's inviting some people. Kieran, Marsman, and uh, White Noise. You seem to have some problems in getting invites. Slightly. I'm not sure why. It does say you're in. Oh. Okay. That time they worked. Awesome. Uh, fixed it. <laughs> I don't quite know how. Just mash buttons and hope. Um, stream blocks. Thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, why is it so easy to weigh fish? Because they have their own scales. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. That is going to be a boo to you. <laughs> from me, most definitely. From chat, highly likely. Uh, that 
bloody hell. Uh, if you're just joining the stream, welcome. Uh, welcome to anyone just tuning in. Uh, we are about halfway or so through this mess of a session. We've had some good racing. We've had some very, very silly races. Um, it is now time for hopefully a vaguely sensible one. This is based on a uh, Donington Park-ish recreation, sort of inspired by... If I remember rightly, it's a pretty good replica. A uh, couple of places you've got to be careful of here. I don't know why I'm bothering giving any warnings, because, you know, it's, it's going to go... There's a couple of quite narrow sections that might cause issues. Um, I say try and be careful. I don't, no one's going to listen to me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there's a couple of, like, corner markers, like big metal drums that I have absolutely absolutely no doubt uh, maybe this isn't locked I thought it uh, it's locked to some cars well I'm going to drive the, no I'm not going to drive the Comet S2 actually I don't know how well balanced these are we'll drive the Schlong uh, sure I don't know what's the best car from this lot but uh, we can I just call it the Schlong for jokes, so I guess that's why we're going to be driving this one now. Uh, I think it's quite good, actually. I can't remember if this was a selection of cars when we raced around it. We might have done. Um, who knows? Right, last time we did a sensible race, we had two Danger Man wins. That cannot stand. That cannot stand at all. It is mostly schlongs in this race. <laughs> Um, there's a couple of other cars involved. I think there's a Corvette. Uh, where is it? The Corvette D10 or something? Uh, there's a, a Feltzer missed the uh, boost start. I mean, it, like, we've raced, I've raced thousands of races on GTA, and oh, it's not metal drums here, it's hay bales on the inside. Either way, you hit those, you're in a lot of trouble. Um, we are going to try and not do that. There's a spinner further back. Uh, yeah, even in the thousands and thousands, thousands of races I've done on this bloody game, you still sometimes miss the jump start. You still sometimes mess it up. You still sometimes get in trouble uh, with it. And when you do that from second to third on the grid, it's a problem. Oh, crap. I've made a poor choice in this circuit. I forgot about the chicane. Yeah. <laughs> Nine Tails got way too much speed in the slipstream and did not break early enough. And poor Childish paid the price of that. We were on the outside and not going to be involved in that anyway. It was perfectly fine for me. Ah, uh, yeah, you... I forgot how narrow the final chicane was on, uh, on this track. Ah, uh, well... It's... a problem. We've got Mute and Danger Man behind us. Now... We have an... Be careful. We have a nice lead at the moment. But it's not going to last. Oh, was this a circuit? I know Lado was hanging around in chat. I don't know if he still is. I think this was a circuit where Lado was leading, hit the tyre bundle on the in... Or hit the hay bale on the inside and just pinged it, like, head on into the wall. I think that was around here. It was quite entertaining when that one happened. I just thought I'd bring it up for... Reasons. I think that was this track. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Mutant Danger Man are going to be giving chase. They will probably uh, probably catch within a couple of laps. As circuits go, this is not the most... Again, this is not the most ridiculously affected by catch-up, but it's pretty powerful around this track. It's This is a fairly quick circuit, um, especially on this hill, for example. This is where it's going to make the difference, uh, really. And sure enough, Danger Man is almost here. Uh, I didn't have... A, uh, a great run. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, Lado. We've just got a. It was just. It was a funny crash that sprung to mind. It was a funny crash that, that sprung to mind, and that, that, that's that's what I remember from this circuit, basically. And the final chicane being a little bit of a mess every time around. Oh, that's a bit. Why Danger Man can push us? If you want to do that on the final lap, if you're behind me, I'm also okay with that as a plan. Um, we will. Or try and get a good run. Oh, there's a little bit of banking actually up there you can get away with if you run wide that kind of just helps the car turn a little bit. Although we're all out of position down the hill. That's a big slide and that's going to cost us both a fair amount of time because I slid in front of Danger Man who was going to have to check up. <coughs> ah, bloody hell. 
and uh, that one, that one was, uh, that was, a uh, nothing I could do about that sneeze. I'm glad we were at a point on the circuit where we could drive for a second without full control of our car. Uh, okay, Mutis of the inside won't get this pass done because we have massive slipstream towards the chicane. Now, we can get to the inside. The battle here on the exit of the chicane is interesting. You might just about have enough time to get a slipstream pass. It might be possible. If there's three cars involved, though, it's anyone's guess, because the car, who who in what position is going to make the most of it, is, is difficult to predict. Uh, there's all sorts of varying uh, varying possibilities. Thank you very much uh, to a White Noise for keeping out of the way there. It's much appreciated. That is how you do it. Um, <laughs> to, to the other back markers, if you see, a, you see the leaders approaching, uh, yeah, dive out of the way nicely. Don't interfere with them. Uh, let's see if the rest of the cars will. I don't know whether that was intentional going wide from uh, Rachie there. I think it, yeah, I think it was actually. Thank you. Again, very, very appreciated. Uh, we will not have a dive to the inside through there. We don't really need to. It's three wide on the exit. We're all getting slipstream off the coquette here. Uh, oh, it has got it has gone to try and get out of the way. Uh, we almost caused grief for uh, for them again. Much appreciated to uh, Bacon there for keeping out of trouble. Oh, almost lost the back end. So, three car battle for the lead. I'm not sure who's in fourth. Uh, is that Blakey? No, it's Ninetales. Um, the, the pretend Ninetales is uh, in fourth and is catching... Oh, I didn't realise Danger Man was there. Sorry, moved across a little bit. Unintentionally, uh, just wandered in front of the red car. We will have a lift up there. Can't... I'm going to duck underneath, but I need the slipstream from Mew. Yeah, Danger Man's got a great run. We've got a good run as well, but not going to be good enough to pass Danger Man. You can go side by side through the chicane, it's just not advised. Uh, mostly because you'll lose a lot of momentum. We've got a great slipstream pull towards the line there. This is going to be a manic final lap. We're out wide. Is it going to pour with rain? That is the question. Oh, we're going to go sideways again. I've got a lot of oversteer going on in this car. Uh, okay, no. There's the one corner. It momentarily got cloudy, and I was wondering, was the rain going to come and try and ruin our day a little bit? Um, but it did. It has. It's got sunny again, so it's just a little bit, a little bit of cloud cover, not a problem. Um, right. Don't run in too deep through here. A little bit of a wiggle from the other orange car. We've got a great run. I don't know how we got a big boost of speed there somehow. Uh, we are to the inside of the chicane. Make the pass stick. Uh, Danger Man might actually be a bit too close here for a slipstream pull. Oh, if this was the runs of the line, Blakey would have beaten all of us with a great run from further back. Uh, we've got two Feltzers uh, having a battle. Oh, Mars Man did a terrible... That was a lag ping and a half. Uh, we did not make things easy in that, and but to be fair... To be fair, that Feltzer got fired forward by lag into Blakey. As it, I don't know whose lag, whether Danger Man slightly jitted forward or whether the Feltzer jitted back, like on whose screen what happened. Uh, but that's really, really unlucky uh, for Blakey and unfortunately for me as well. Both Team Orange cars got entirely screwed in that one. Um, so, yeah, how, how long have we got? Oh, two laps. Might not be impossible to catch here. Might not be completely impossible to catch up, but... We're going to have to have two very, very good laps, pretty much. If we work together, we can probably do it. Um, but, yeah, it's going to have to be absolutely perfect. We are going to get to the inside through turn one. We're still on the inside. There's a coquette going for a massive shunt. Thankfully, it got caught by the chicane, so it didn't come back across the track. Me and Blakey have been really good through this first section. That is what we needed. Now, I'm not going to be... Oh, Ninetales is having a look. You're never going to pass there. As I said, I wasn't planning on overtaking Blakey down here. I don't want to because what we want to do is get as close as possible to uh, the leaders. Oh, that's a terrible rejoin. That is a shocking attempt at a rejoin of a circuit when you are a lap down. That is... That is... No. <laughs> that has cost us a chance, uh, any chance, at, uh, at, a, at a race victory. Oh, Ninetales. Oh... I said, it was a sensible enough attempt to pass on that one. Um, just slightly misjudged it. Oh, bloody hell. It looks like Blakey is going to get the last place on the podium. We will 
Oh, try and hold it around the outside of you. It's not going to work. We will go for a lift. Uh, don't want to. Don't want to try and career into the door through there. Um, oh, a little bit of lag went on. Oi! Uh, we're going to run the curve. Ewan's actually doing pretty well for a non schlong. <laughs> um, that is. Uh, that is wee, more sliding. More sliding indeed. Um, we're going to cross the line in fourth. Blakey could not make up the time. That cone's in a really annoying place. Danger Man took victory. Mute second. What could have been, I do not know. Um. We will cross the line and settle for a fourth. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. We were on for such a good finish. Me and Blakey had an absolutely stunning lap to get ourselves potentially back into the fray. And, yeah, it just went wrong. It went wrong for me. Nine ends up in seventh. Uh, Amy got the coquette into sixth. So, yeah, Masacro, that's what it's called. Masacro, the best of the non-schlongs. <laughs> Uh, Amy gets a coquette there. Gliska gets a Feltzer into 10th. That's actually really good going because the Feltzer is not quick in that category. Um, that is, that is, yeah, that is not a quick car at all in that category. So well done to uh, to Gliska there for uh, for getting that as far up as, as it did. I mean, you know, there's there's only so much you can do sometimes. Um with with car performance, especially if you fall out of the draft and and lose ground early on, um, so yeah, not not bad. That was a good fun race. That was uh, that was a uh, a good fun race indeed. Well done, Danger Man. We will try next time. Someone's going to beat Danger Man at some bloody point. I thought we were on for it that time around, but no. <sighs> um. Okay, yeah, Val Val Trek, uh, you will be. Uh, Unfortunately, removed terrible rejoin in front of me. Uh, apparently, caused a lot of issues for others. Um, so I'm afraid you shall be removed from from the session for driving like a melon. Uh, a a Willala stream blocks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for an incredibly generous donation. I say thanks for the great content you make. Uh, anyways, time for the obligatory pun. Uh, what's black and white and flings off into space? The confused Fair Race Police Department. <laughs> <laughs> I, that, I mean, that's not a pun. That is very, very true. Um, that it's just, it's just a true fact. Um, I'm not going to give you a boo on that one because it was a fail race related, uh, <laughs> fail race related terrible pun, um, and also because it was a, a very generous donation. So you know that that as well. But uh, it's it's just a true fact. It is just a true fact. Um, fail race police department does like to visit Orbit regularly. It's always got to go, you know. Um, there's, there's always, there's always some. There's, there's so much space to explore that uh, the police department does does want to go and do the job. Uh, <laughs> who needs a space program when you can have the Fail Race Police Department? They can go and they can go and do the do the business. Um, Right, what are we going to be driving next? Compact. I think we drive the club here. Club's quite oversteery from what I remember. I think. I think the club can get very... I think they can get very oversteery. Well, not, not very oversteery, but I believe they can get uh, twitchy and... I'd say problematic. Um... We will see. Lado asking if we can kick Danger Man. Uh, we can think about it, definitely. It's always, we're always thinking about it, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> no, we've, we've, we've had some very good races. It's annoying that Danger Man is winning all of the races because he's not going to shut up about it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that doesn't really seem like a good enough reason to kick at the moment. Um, really, we need to drive better. Um... Uh, yeah, there, there was definitely uh, lag with the with the incident with the Felser from Danger Man. Yeah, there's nothing you could do about that one. It, it was unlucky. It was unlucky for me and Blakey. Uh, we we couldn't have done anything about it, and Danger Man certainly couldn't have done. Um, it was just yeah, there was a car there. I think um, I think Mars Man was trying to say it, it. It was a combination of two things that caused issues. Sorry, just letting people who've been trying to join join while we wait for a minute. Uh, it was a combination of two things. The first was. Me, Blakey, and Danger Man were going every which side of a back marker who didn't know where to go. And, and that is 
a tough thing to deal with. You know what? We'll do a little bit of, while we get people connected, we'll just do a little bit of, I guess, like a driving etiquette lesson. Um, in a situation, if you're like that, ideally, if you're, if you're coming up to be lapped, you've got faster cars approaching, and I, ideally you get out of the way before you get to the stage where you've got cars trying to go either side of you. Um, that's ideally what you want to be doing. If you, if you see the leaders approaching, you want to be you want to move out of the way well before they actually get to you because it avoids that sort of thing. Admittedly, sometimes it is difficult to see that happening. Sometimes you're having your own battle and you don't realise until the last second and then you've got the leaders either side of you. The thing that I would say is if you're in that situation where you've suddenly got, oh crap, I've got one car left, one car right, just keep on your line. Let the faster cars figure out their way past. So they're they're going to be approaching with a lot of momentum. They're going to be slipstreaming. So just kind of stay... Yeah. Stay in position, stay on, on your line rather than trying to get out of their way because they'll have already made a plan of how to deal with you potentially. Um, admittedly, on that one, Marsman didn't actually really move that much. There was just a lag bump that caused the mess. Um, but yeah, in, in general, that's what we say is uh, you ideally want to get out of the way beforehand. But sometimes you do miss it, so yeah, kind of stay stay in position. Not that we could do much in, in that particular instance, but there, just a little bit of it's kind of what they use with um, multi-class racing, like Le Mans and stuff, isn't it? I think the the slower cars basically stick on their line, and the fast cars have to work around it uh, if they can't pull over easily. I mean, I know lap down is different to multi-class and everything, um, so there's there's that. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess. 20, oh no, we've got 26. Crossway Man has just got connected. Uh, we will get this race underway. Hopefully, Danger Man can be beaten. Uh, <laughs> fingers crossed. Uh, uh, fart Concert with still the funniest name of the day. Thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, can we do Guardians of the Motorway, possibly? Uh, and also, what motor is in your fury? Uh, we can possibly do Guardians of the Motorway. I think it might be limited in the numbers of people, so it might wait till the end. Um, I, I think I made it when... Because the Guardians of the Motorway is a very, very old map. Uh, I think I made it before we could have 30 cars in a lobby. So, yeah, it's possible that we might be able to get 16. So, um... Oh, it's night time. I didn't mean to do that. Never mind. We'll have a night race at Donington. Um... Yeah, what was I saying? Uh, you guys most way might be might be limited to 16, but we can have a look at doing that at the end of the stream. Uh, the engine in the Fury is the 383 Mopar, uh, so and a lot of it is going to be actually by the time by the time it's bloody finished, the engine is essentially going to be a brand new engine in a car from the 60s. So yay! <laughs> um, yeah, that's uh, uh, yeah, that's that, that's what it is. Um, I think it was waiting for parts at the moment. It needs a new crankshaft. I think that's what what's the, the garage is waiting on, uh, is to get that over here. Uh, so, yeah, he's going to have a lot of brand new parts in that engine. So, it'll be good. It'll be good. There's been a, a mass of clubs having problems further back, and it's up to me to battle Danger Man. Uh, and who is that? Is that Amy's in third and Areth's is fourth? Ah, okay, well, I, I think the other reason why Danger Man is also... I'd say doing well. So we know the grid on GTA is, is sorted by ping. Oh, bloody hell. It's a sort of connection to me. Um, which means the grid order is often pretty similar. So apparently Danger Man has pretty good connection uh, to me, who is the host. Uh, so they're also starting towards the front of the grid. And that makes life easier. We've seen it time and time again. I mean, hell, this is, <laughs> this is very much the case in real life motorsport. Uh, in GTA, I mean, in, in real life, you know, start towards the front, you have less traffic to deal with. GTA 5, start towards the front because you have less massive accidents to deal with on the first lap. I mean, you see the gap that we've built over Amy just just from the first few corners uh, alone, essentially, here. We are to the inside. We'll hang Danger Man wide, but there's not much uh, not much more than that that we can do. Uh, also, I will alert uh, to uh, Mr. Tom. Thank you very much for the, uh, for the donation. Shall read that at the end of the race. We've got a good run out of here. We're a little too close, maybe, for some slipstream. No, that was still good enough. Okay, that is useful to know. We will chuck the car uh, through here. We know Danger Man is likely to try and have a look 
back. Although, you don't really want to pass down the hill. No, <laughs> you can do it. Much like real Donington. Oh, much like real Donington, you don't want to pass down. You can, but it's difficult. Uh, it's easy to lose the back end of your car and slide around. Uh, oh, Amy has had a crash somewhere and fallen. Well, maybe got caught and lost time in battle. I don't know. Uh, I thought they were fairly clear of that other car, but maybe not. We're going to continue this same thing. Danger Man leaves space. It was a little bit of a half-hearted chance at the inside there. It's not quite worked. Um, we will have a look to the inside for the chicane. Yeah, I don't know. If it's just two cars, I don't know whether you want to be the leader out of there. I'm curious... So, that's actually not the most efficient way for us to be racing. There is a reason why I did that um, on this lap. Uh, I, see, I say ideally, what we want to have is me and Danger Man work together, slip through each other, don't really like fight for position, slip through each other and try and stay away from the rest of the pack for as long as possible. The reason... Oh, Danger Man was actually going to give us the uh, inside there. The reason I tested that is I wanted to see whether it was going to be possible to fend off a car by breaking the toe, but I don't think it is. Not in the clubs. It's something faster we might be able to. Amy is now starting to catch. And this whole, like, how it works in a battle 1v1 is very different to multi-car battles. Um, the whole trying to break the toe and what position you come out of the chicane in and everything. When there's three or four cars, it's a very different story. They're more likely to stumble over one another. That is true. Um... And the car from 4th or 5th can get a really good toe and end up taking the victory. Uh, so, yeah, it does all change on the final lap. Uh, me and Danger Man are having a, a good race here. We're going to be we're gonna be really brave. No, we're not. We lost speed, actually, with some oversteer halfway through that corner. So, backed out of it in the end. Oh, Danger Man almost hit that hay bale like I did. Oh, I've got to sneeze again. Bloody hell. Oh, Amy's turned up. Am I going to sneeze? I don't know. Please don't sneeze here. <coughs> Thank you for waiting until I'm out of the corner. Sorry, Danger Man. Oh, well, my body stopped the trail. I'm going to blame hay fever. I think it is. Oh, I got really sneezy this year. Normally I get really itchy eyes, which is not great when it comes to hay fever. Uh, ne neither are good options, really. Ah. Uh, <coughs> please don't let that... Uh, sorry, I wasn't really going a very, very good straight line there. Oh. Christ. Can I get to the end of this race, please, with no more sneezing? Please. Uh, we're going to oh, get a pass. Yeah. If you're going to pass on this sort of hill area, that's the safest and easiest way to do it. Like that. Um, we kind of got more speed on the way in. We're going to pass Danger Man here. Uh, Amy will probably... Uh, yeah, there. <laughs> He'll probably come soaring past. We didn't make it too easy uh, for them, but... Well, we're going to kind of box Danger Man in a little bit. Not that it matters. Bump draft on Amy actually works pretty well. Uh, we will not be able to get into the draft. We're going to have to just wait our time. Nah, yeah, okay. This will be an interesting in, uh, interesting for science kind of a moment. See, so, yeah, again, this is what I was talking about. The car in third can sometimes be in the best position there. Oh, back end got very loose. Uh, <laughs> that was sketchy. There's a car on the outside. That is going to be Danger Man uh, getting into trouble. One plus point of racing at night is we can... You, you get just a tiny bit of warning via the lights as to where a car is approaching from. Ninetales did a weird lag hop there. Uh, <laughs> not seen those since the bloody... Oh, Gran Turismo cars. BMW i3s we raced. It's some weird lag hop sort of glitchy hops on some cones. Oh, got big kick of oversteer mid-corner. Almost put Danger Man in the wall. Uh, Amy is going to bump draft. Oh, we've got loads of cars that turned up now. Oh, Ninetales got turned. Danger Man got rolled against the wall. That's gone. Oh, it's gone awfully for everybody else. I don't, I know, I don't know who moved where. I do know Gliska and Ninetales got together. I think Ninetales may have moved across, not realising Gliska was there. Got turned in front of me and Danger Man, and everyone had a bad time. Uh, we were unbelievably lucky there that uh, we managed to sneak our way through. Everyone just had a crash, and we were essentially entirely unaffected. Now, we might... Mm, I don't think we're going to do this. 
Uh, we've got catch up so hard here. This track is so fast that uh, the catch up. This is a track that catch up is very, very powerful on when you're out here on your own, trying desperately to uh, take a victory. Oh, Danger Man is maybe in position. We might be just far enough away, actually, because they've been fighting each other quite a lot. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, little club. Oh, there's no momentum, though. Oh, they've all had a big crash. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Everyone's fallen over each other. We break Danger Man's streak. <laughs> we claim victory in the club. Gliska gets second ahead of Salmon, Ninetales fourth ahead of Valtane, fifth, Ewan sixth, Mute seventh. The Danger Man ended up hard up the wall uh, at that final chicane. I don't know what happened. I imagine they were squabbling over position at that point, and Danger Man was on the outside and ran out of road, pretty much. It, th that chicane is, is dangerous. Um, there is... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Amy and Amy and Danger Man got in trouble uh, in that one. Yeah, that's a good point actually, because we, yeah, we had a great race with with Amy and Danger Man. Amy ended up tenth. We had a great race for a long time in that one. Um, so unfortunate end for what was a very very good race. Um, we will take victory. Yeah, it is a shame it ended quite the way that it did. Because as as happy as I am to win a race. You know, everyone likes winning. Um, the battle was good fun, and it is a shame. A shame that it kind of descended into madness. Uh, I think just too many cars tried to uh, to fit into that one. But there we go. It was a uh, yeah. Up until then, was a uh, was a good a good fun race. Uh, it's a good track. It is a good re recreation of Donington, uh, most definitely. That one. It has its challenges. Um. You know, always, always nice to uh, to have these these recreations. There, there are some incredibly talented uh, tracks built by folks. I think this was a bit like Troll, Trolled by thirteen thirty seven, something like that. Um, so, yeah, there we go. So I try to wait to see if I can sneeze again. I don't think I am. I think I'm good. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Tom, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, don't have any puns, so here's a bumpy quote instead. Uh, oh no! A building explosion. <laughs> that is still one of the funniest. There's been a lot of great there's been a lot of great bumpy quotes, there's been a lot of great moments from Survive the Hunt. That is up there. That is up there as as one of one of my favourites. Um Did the Chris Shin stuff, did the, um, I, I don't know whether Amy or Joe would have ever, the, the outtake video of the Chris saying Shin, did that, is there actual, because we've joked about it, we've talked about it before, but, uh, and the video that, the actual Survive the Hunt that was used didn't have that, it was joked about, um, but the actual moment was it in it was in an outtake one did that ever make it um did that ever make it to a video chris just shouting shin a lot uh whoa we've fallen over <laughs> we've been booed i can't remember uh he basically mispronounced a word and rather than correcting it after the first mispronunciation just continued to shout shin instead uh, Longbow has the shin clip. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, and Lana has it. I couldn't remember who might who might have had it. Someone had it. Um, he's around somewhere. It's very funny. Um, just rather than correcting the obvious mistake. You know, we all goof words. I goof words a lot. But normally when you goof it, you correct it. Rather than just sh saying as there, for example. Uh, <laughs> rather than just... You know what? I'm going to go with shaying instead. Rather than just shaying the same mistake over and over again, you normally fix it. It was brilliantly funny. That is also up there as one of the... Um, one of the entertaining dumb things that has happened uh, during... A lot of dumb things has happened during Survive the Hunt. Uh, I did say Lado has it. Are you not listening, Lado? Uh, there's too much of the gin. That's what it is. Um, no, I can't speak. I like gin. Gin's good. Uh, bad, but good. All at the same time. Uh, right. Shall we load up something else? What is the time? Uh, right. We will have 
another, I guess, vaguely close to normal race, maybe. Um, and then we will finish off with a run on the Guardians of the Motorway with whoever can get connected to that one. Uh, sure, let's go here. We'll go to a pwn circuit. Um, uh, Jared C, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, just saying, bless you. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on today. Um, it is not... I would say I'm going to play hay, hay Fever. That would not surprise me, but... Uh, it's going on the last few days, actually, which is what makes me think that it is uh, hay fever. I get everyone from the last from the last job into here. Uh, I don't know what vehicles are going to be racing around this one, but uh, yeah, it, there you go. thank you. Uh, anonymous uh, donated. I'm not sure. Uh, where sometimes it can block out names uh, so I apologise if it did, uh, if it wasn't intentional to be anonymous, but thank you very much uh, for the donation. So since the filming crew puns are the best way not to get a boo uh, what do you get if you cross a dinosaur with the best content creator on YouTube? Uh, Ladosaurus I know someone's going to be very happy about that uh, I'm going to guess that was Lado actually who donated and put, actually can I check I can check, can I figure out if Lado donated that I can, st I can check on some of them uh, I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure it out who it might be. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it was Lano, but it might be. Um, some some information. Sometimes I can get told stuff on Streamlabs. Uh, where can I look? Can I look somewhere? Uh, can I try and figure out if Lano was trying to uh, promote Ooh. himself? Either way... Uh, thank you very much. Whoever it might have been, whether it was Lado promoting himself, uh, thank you very much for the uh, for the donation. Uh, saying also, please please bring back the podcast. We love the podcast. It's great fun to do. Uh, the problem is no one watches it, and it takes a lot of time uh, to to do, which is a shame. Uh, it, it it I say it is a it's a shame it's not more popular, uh, but it is good fun. We we do like doing it. Uh, it's just. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, it's a lot of effort for. Sadly, not not a huge amount of uh, a huge amount of return. Um, but it's never impossible that it might not. It's never impossible that it. It might turn up again. Um, my brain is not working well enough for that sentence. <laughs> it may it may make an appearance basically. Um, so. Yeah, no immediate plans, but we'd never say never. Uh, Road Rage, thank you very much for the donation, saying, Go, Amy, go. It almost worked. Um, Amy did, we had a really good race, and then the final lap happened, and unfortunately for Amy, it didn't quite go to plan. Uh, so I think this this race itself might be locked to two different tuna cars. So, for this first round, everybody, drive the, f the car it loads up in is the car we're using. I'm not sure what it might be locked to, but... The car that it loads in first is the car we're racing, okay? Hopefully everyone remembers. I'm going to read the rest of these donations while the, do while the stream delay catches up. Um, Neos, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, where do prospects of the Fairways Police Department learn to drive the Hollywood Police Driving Academy? That sounds pretty accurate, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd give that. That that sounds like it's it's uh, definitely how things how things work. Um, <laughs> oh, all right, let's go. Let's start this and see what happens. Um, Sam, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying what happens when a frog's car breaks down? It gets towed. That that is going to be a boo to you from me and probably from chat. Okay, so we are going to drive the Remus. Uh, that is the vehicle. We shall be, I like the Remus. The Remus is good fun. So let's go drive this. Uh, it is likely that not everyone is going to have listened. The chances of everyone listening to me are very, very small. We can live in hope. I'm going to. I'm not going to expect everybody to, but I think most, my majority, will have done. It's a fairly easy instruction. To, uh, to 
to follow. Oh, I remember this track. Uh, it looks like we've done a pretty good job, actually, of having everyone in the in the right cars. Awesome. Uh, we have got we've got cars on the inside. This is a fast track, if I remember correctly. There'll be a lot of bump drafting. There will be probably a lot of bumps along the way as well. Hope. Uh, ooh, this might be fun for busy for bigger groups of cars. Uh, when you're out on the front, out in front, on your own, it is not too bad. But yeah, the bigger groups might have some trouble. We have run away. <laughs> I shall enjoy not having to worry. Oh. Okay, that's that's asking for trouble. This is not the truck I thought it was, actually. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll take it back. It's, it's fast with some... Potentially uh, twisty. We've got these 90 degree corners with walls, and I just, it's asking for cars to get stuck. Not going to affect me at the moment. Oh, might if I do that too often though. That was a that was a poor, poor run. Uh, I do believe I do believe this car is based on a Silvia. Um, I mean, it is the same with most of the GTA, almost all the GTA cars. They're loosely based on something, although they are now getting a lot more based. They're now just almost direct copies of cars. The Honda, the S2000 is just it's an S2000. <laughs> There's not even anything else in it. Like, at least the original cars would be like a mix of two. Like, the Infernus is a Lamborghini crossed with a Zonda. Uh, and, it, you know, I like that. The new cars are kind of fun because they, they are basically just real-world cars with the bare minimum done to avoid a lawsuit. But that, I kind of, I liked it when they were at least a combination effort. Oh, Danger Man's turned up, God damn it! We don't want a Danger Man victory here. We got seven laps to try and prevent a Danger Man. I say, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm only joking as long as we have a good race. I don't, uh, you know, I don't care. I'd like to win, but as long as we have a good race, that's the important bit. So we got me, you, and Danger Man. Stevie is coming to join, and there was someone else ex expect. Uh, expect, I guess, is uh, possibly going to come join. We'll see if they if they hold on as the uh, fight will continue. We'll just cut underneath everything and not be able to finish the move off. Ewan doesn't even want to lead into that. Oh, I don't think... I didn't realise Stevie was arriving with such speed. I don't think Ewan did either. I think we got caught out. I was expecting Ewan to back out so much there. Uh, I guess Ewan didn't fancy the, the, the fight at that particular moment on the circuit. Uh, I don't know whether that bush is one of those annoying grabby bushes that will spin the car. It might be. I'm not going to try and test it to find out. We'll be neat through there. Ewan gives us a helping hand out of the corner. That's what we like. Pack behind is growing. I see a Blakey and another orange car of some description. Not sure whose. Um, yeah, there's a lot of cars coming to join. Amy's there. That's a big pack of cars. Actually, don't know. It wasn't an maybe it wasn't another orange car. We have uh, another couple of Woolaloos. Thank you very much. I shall try and read uh, when. Oh dear. Uh, when we finish this race, I'm not going to be able to read in the heat of battle here. It's a good race we've got going on between me, Danger Man, and Ewan. Yeah, Danger Man backed out of that. I was going to back out of it. Uh, I, mean, I kind of did as well because I'm a bit of a funky line. I mean, you don't want to necessarily lead into that section, though. You can see the run we've got going on here uh, from a bunch of different cars. Yeah, the leader in that section is going to have trouble. We got a bit carried away with the uh, slipstream there. Just dragged us. I mean, it's only dragged us a little bit wide. Nothing terrible. Uh, we're going to go to the outside of the pink car. I'm going to give the pink car some space. It returns the favour, which is always good. We have a good run here on Danger Man. It's a fast corner, though, and that inside line yet yeah, does not quite work out. Ah, Eve has woken up, uh, so I'm sure she's going to meow and make her presence known. Okay, done, Danger Man. I've got nowhere else to go, so I'll push you forward with a little bit of a bump draft. Stinty is uh, around the outside. They're three wide. They're still three wide. <laughs> no one wants to give through there. Stinty. Oh, I thought Stinty had ended up in the lamppost. Now there's a lot of cars about to come and join us. This group, oh, Stingy and Blakey got a little bit tangled. Team Orange will, of course, work together. The pink car backed out of it. Um, <laughs> I think the pink car backed out of it to... I uh, sort of can see the place to Blakey and no one just didn't realise that we were going to sneak past as well. It is easy to do to sneak past some of these. Oh, mate. 
I wasn't expecting a dive there, but it was fair. Uh, we saw it soon enough to be able to do something about it. The only downside of that dive is you, you make yourself slow on the exit of the corner. Um, if you don't pull the pass off, you basically just lose time for, for both you and the car you were trying to overtake. Um, you drop further away from the leaders, although catch-up will kind of negate that. We've got a massive run here, and we will take the lead of the race. Uh, but we know it might not necessarily be advantageous to lead out of there, because we know you're going to get a big slipstream. But if you try and hang back and everyone's squabbling in the chicane, there's just going to be a crash. We've seen it time and time again where every lap the car in second or third even will win the battle to the line. But on the final lap, everyone's pushing that little bit harder and sometimes track position is more important. Who knows what we might see in this race. Well, who knows if we'll even still be in the battle in contention. I hope we will be, but you never know uh, with, with these. It's now four car breakaway. The pack slowed itself down again. Uh, Team Orange does a little bit of a bar. I think I don't think that was an intentional. Oh, that was definitely not an intentional one. Uh, <laughs> we almost fired Blakey into a pass they were not ready for uh, whatsoever, but uh, everyone got away with it okay. That was a little bit of a terrible line from me. But we will catch back up fairly quickly. Let's just not get pulled into the braking zone too quickly. Uh, never a good thing. Oh, Ewan's got into trouble there. Can we duck underneath? We can. And we will get a good run on the exit to try and get some slipstream from Blakey here, which we do. We'll get to the inside for the hairpin. We'll get slipstream off Danger Man. We'll... Yeah, I mean, this, this group will be... We'll be left alone for probably the next half a lap before we might have that group behind join us, like Valtrain and whoever else it is. Uh, Val, Valtrain, whatever the name was. I've forgotten immediately. I've got, too, I've got too much going on in my own battles here. Well, Ewan is going to go to the outside. Danger Man is going to pass on the inside. And we're potentially going to see what we've seen a lot of so far. Yeah, even with a really good run. Danger Man had a great run through there. It's just not enough. It's just not enough to... I might say make that work. Mute is going to join and so is Stinty. So we're going to be back to about a six car battle for the lead. Stinty fires around the outside with all the momentum in the world. And Stinty will lead the race. Uh, oh, sorry. Ewan. I thought about going to the inside but I changed my mind because the speed's involved. Uh, and Ewan already committed to going to the outside. Oh, I didn't want to push Blakey, but yeah, we all made the same kind of moves. Ewan does not want to make that three wide, and that is probably a wise idea. We've seen what happened with three wides in the past here. Uh, we might make this pass work against Stinty. Stinty's trying to hold it. I left. I did leave space. There was space for a Stinty on the outside. Stinty did just understeer a bit wide. Blakey hit the bush. It didn't spin the car, but it did get very oversteery. Uh, and we are up to the lead of the race. It won't last long. We know we're about to probably get uh, passed down here. Blakey, oh, there's a big gap, actually. So something went on further back. I wonder if that was when Stinty ran wide, if it backed a lot of the pack up. Uh, we are oh, side by side with Blakey. Not going to make that work. Blakey's going to get the better run, and that's fine. Again, we'll drop into line. We'll follow our Team Orange teammate, so to speak, or pseudo-teammate, I guess. Don't want to be on the outside here. <laughs> uh, I I mean, Blakey backed out of it a little bit when realised the mess it was about to be. We backed out as well. It's just, you're not... If if it was that... If that corner was the one that mattered for the race victory, you'd do it. But it's not. Ultimately, you're more likely to lose a lot of time than anything. We were a little too far back there for the slingshot. There's a car on the outside. I think that's a Ewan. Uh going. Oh yeah, Ewan went for the very very big cutback. Went really wide on the way in. Tight for the exit. And it has worked. Ewan has got there. Amy's turned up and joined in the battle. It's three wide. Oh, 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 oh there's contact. Oh, Blakey's up the wall. Blakey has rolled. That is desperately unlucky. It's the smallest bit of contact as well. Oh, poor Blakey. Uh, it's not quite the final lap luck for Blakey. It's the penultimate lap bad luck for Blakey. Uh, we are going to pass Stinty on the way in there only just. And there's a whole group of cars now. There's so many. 
from what has been sort of a two, three car battle, maybe four car battle for the lead for most of the race, it's now suddenly going to descend into an eight car battle, although, uh, no, it's not quite fully broken up, the group. It's broken up a little bit. Uh, it's back to a four car battle for the lead. Me, Stinty, Amy and Stevie are going to probably juke it out on the final lap. The group behind might be able to catch in time, but it's going to be l close. Uh, Amy's looking around the outside. We're going for a cutback here on Stinty. It's not quite going to work. Uh, oh, we're going to be able to get some draft, but it's not much. Oh, Stevie's there. Just mistimed it. We are still on the outside here. Uh, we're going to have a, just a tiny lift off the throttle. I don't want to be... I don't want that fight. I don't want to crash now. Uh, we're, we're at the stage of the race where it's going to be difficult to make recovery from a big mistake. Stevie fires it at the inside. Uh, we're going to be careful like that. So I was trying to set myself up for this run to the line a bit better. Mute might join us. Blakey might catch us uh, before the end of the race as well. It may become a six-car battle for the lead, depending on how this goes, depending on how much we all slow ourselves down. It, it will very much depend on how vicious this fight is uh, as to how many more cars will join. Mute is in the group now. Blakey and level eight, is that maybe? Or Salmon, I'm not sure. Mute had to back out of that one on a very tight line. Um, right, we're not really... This corner here... Oh! It's not likely... Oh, Stinty <laughs> Oh, Stinty, that's really like Me and Amy both got big oversteer moments and Stinty was just unfortunately stuck on the outside of a sliding car. Um, yeah, that was a little bit unfortunate for, for Stinty there. I don't want to put... You know, a competitor on their roof. Uh, I mean, as, as much as, of course, rolling is the long-running joke of fail race. Uh, we don't want to win races with that that way. Oh, Blakey and Amy got connected. Oh, uh, no. This <laughs> Blakey did really well to catch back up. And the last lap, luck has struck again. Oh, dear. Me versus Mute. Then there is Danger Man and Level 8 behind. It might become a sort of slipstreaming pairs almost like the old NASCAR races uh, with the old sort of pair racing um, we may end up descending into that who knows Mute will pass us again we're going to have to watch out for those cars getting big runs behind us in the run to the line level 8 is alongside now we may see less give and take into or more take less give into this section uh, that is for sure level 8 has a good run Danger Man has an even better run here uh, we're heading into this last chicane now who is going to come out of this with the best amount of momentum? They're side by side up ahead. We have got a very, very good run, but have we used it too soon? We are to the inside. It's going to be between me and Mute, and I think Mute's going to get it. That is why the final lap, it always goes differently. <laughs> Nareth's has found a shop. Of course Nareth's has. Uh, Mute led into that chicane and led out of it. And, and, and won the battle to the line. <laughs> Oh, good race. Desperately unlucky for Amy and Blakey. They had the classic fronts of cars got connected and neither could steer and both got spat off to the side. Uh, which is really unlucky. Really easy to do. Normally, the Remus is pretty good at avoiding that. Um, but it's not, you know, completely... Um, As I say, I can't completely avoid them, owing to, you know, <laughs> the, the physics. As, as much as GTA does have some wonky physics and you can exploit some of it, basic physics, you can't sort of steer when the cars are interlocked and they're off, sadly. Um, uh, that was... I mean, we had a good we had a good race up front. Uh, unfortunate for for Gleska, obviously didn't have a good lap. Well, they did get fastest lap. Didn't have a good, great race. Uh, we're going to do one more race around here, and then we're going to finish off with Guardians of the Motorway. Um, so we will run. I think most of the cars from the Tuna category are unlocked here. I'm trying to remember what other cars, what other good cars to race. From the tuna category, are there? I'm trying. To, uh, I'm trying to just not pick an awful one to drive. Basically, <laughs> I've forgotten what they are. Uh, the Calico's quick. Uh, it's a bit wonky to drive. Not wonky. It's a bit difficult to drive. Uh, that's why I'm tending to perhaps avoid the, the Calico. And I can't remember all the other ones. While we figure out what we're doing, uh, Mr. Marsman, thank you very much for the 
donation. I uh, saying so got to head off to work. Thanks for having me. Uh, thank, I say thanks. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the race you got to take part in. I uh, hope you enjoyed the stream as well. Um, best of luck with it. <laughs> you know, a good old a good old day of work. Uh, CK Vickers, thank you very much for the donation. I say my wife and I watch your work on the regular. I've been watching and rewatching the Survive the Hunt since the beginning. Uh, thank you to you and the crew, uh, Lado, Longbow, Amy, and Joe, uh, for all the content. Uh, sending mad respect from Canada. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Uh, I'm glad you've been enjoying the videos and uh, you know the Survive the Hunts and everything is uh, is always. As I was always glad to hear. Uh, hopefully, you will enjoy uh, many, uh, many more along the way. Um, oh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll have a good race going on here. Um, we we can only do the tuna category, folks. I th that's it. That's all I got. I can't change anything. So there are only cars in this one. We can't drive dominators. We can't drive jesters. Uh, I don't think we can drive Comet S two. That might be tuna. No, I don't think so though. Um, Yeah, we, we can't we can't use those cars. Uh, <laughs> I don't yeah don't want the calico. It's a bit of a boat. It's very fast, but it's a bit of a boat. Uh, we could go for the. I'm trying to remember what the likes of the. Um, what was the RX-7? The Euros. Um, oh, the Jester RI. Actually, yeah. The Jester RR is quite nice, if I remember rightly. I think that's quite good. The Warren is horrible. I love it. It looks amazing, but it's terrible to drive. Um, yeah, let's go with the Jester. Let's go. It's Danger Man's suggestion, which is always dangerous. Um, but no, I actually do remember the Jester being quite a nice car to drive. So I'm up for, for racing that one. Um, we'll go with that. Okay, everybody. Let's go and drive the Jester RR. Um, Stinty, if you want to drive a Futo yourself, you're welcome to. The rest of us <laughs> will <laughs> we'll, we'll go and take the Jester. Um, right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Um, hopefully, it will be a good race. I'm not going to hold out all of the hope in the world, but uh, <laughs> we shall see. It's probably going to be me and Danger Man racing at the front for a while. Now, in fact, not only is the just a uh, half decent car, it's also very easy to find. It's just next to the uh, to the Remus, so that is good. Uh, that is good. the old Dominator is not bad. Uh, the tailgate is not bad either for just people in chat. Um, they are pretty. Pretty nice cars to drive. You generally get some good wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing with uh, with those. Right here we go. It looks pretty good in terms of the grid. Um, also, Gliska might uh, <laughs> the game might might have been kind to Gliska and put them in second on the grid to try and avoid some of the melee that goes on. Indeed, it has. Uh, hopefully, they can stay out of trouble. We will. Uh, I say we're, we're always going to run the risk of losing out at uh, turn one. Pole is on the outside and with catch up and slipstream you tend to uh, have the car in second be able to pass you. But it, it's all good. I mean we've come out the other side. We've got the lead now. Uh, we are cleaning through. I mean the main thing that we've got to work with here is these 90 degree corners that are coming up. Uh, we're about to get passed by one of the orange cars. Risk is passed. Oh, Stinty and Mumbo will pass us there, although we might retake Stinty uh, briefly. No, we don't get any slipstream. I will just settle, fall into line. We've got level 8 behind. And we will oh, hopefully sort this all out. Stinty's being brave. He's got an amazing run down there, actually. Although he's still stuck on the outside through all of that. A lot of orange. A lot of orange here. Can we sneak past? We can just get a little bit of slipstream from Stinty. That'd be awesome. Level eight wants to follow us. Ah, we weren't quite close enough. We weren't quite able to. Level eight is close. Not going to be able to do very much there. The orange car missed the breaking point. Thankfully, nothing ahead to hit. Uh, it's e it is easy to do uh, missing the breaking point. Oh, lots of understeer in the draft. Me and Stinty found it out. <laughs> it's just chronic understeer there. Oh, Stinty, give us playing that so dangerously. He's got a great run. 
but that was millimetres away from a massive accident. I was right behind, so I would have been killed in it as well. Uh, we will just sit back. Oh, they're a both a little bit wonky through there. We will sit back and we will get a good run here um, to the finish line. If only... Oh, I don't know who would have won if that was the final lap of the race. It was very, very close. So, we are going to lead the way. Stinty up onto two wheels, level eight even further. The Jester trying to be a uh, motorbike at that point. Oh, an orange car going to go to the inside. That's a horrible line. Oh, dear. Uh, we are clear to set off. Yeah, I might, might have turned down a bit on on Stinty. Uh, I think we were both. I think we were both busy watching the car speeding up the inside that was on a really wonky line, and not quite paying as much attention to each other on that one. At least I think I was certainly. Um, I was more worried about that than I was about Stinty, and that's when everything went wrong. Never mind. Uh, this there is time. And this is the reason why we race with Slipstream and catch up on, is even though, you know, things have gone fairly bad for us there, we're not out of this race. If we didn't have Slipstream and catch up on, that would probably be it. That would be the end of our race. So, yeah, at least there is a chance now for us to climb back up to this. They are really fighting hard at the front of this one, which does help us. When you're fighting like that, you are losing time. You're losing a lot of time, in fact. Uh, oh... We almost, I don't think the car realised we were there. Uh, we almost managed to put the nose up the inside. There's so much understeer through that corner. Not going to do that there. No. I mean, we, we, it means we lose a lot of momentum, but I can't. I can't put the car there because you're just asking for a really big crash, essentially. All right. We're definitely not overtaking through here. We're way better off just settling the car and get a good run down here. We will get some slipstream potentially somewhere. There it is. It was good, but uh, oh, I mean, we we were along we were alongside. There was a little bit of a lag connection with the way that car got jittered. Uh, you shouldn't be able to move a car like that, <laughs> essentially. So um, there might have been a little bit of desync. Would be my potential guess on that one, because um, yeah, the cars kind of got weirdly stuck together. Oh no. That one there was a... It was an ambitious dive. I think it was a fair attempt at a pass. We lifted off the throttle. No real harm done. We've lost a little bit of time, though. Uh, bugger. I don't want to get stuck in this fight. We need to not drop a wheel on the dirt there, that's for sure. We'll be to the inside. There, we'll get one of them. Uh, but, I mean, even if we do... Oh, we've got a better exit. Car on the outside. Won't quite work there. We've got a great run here, and this will be... A nice straightforward pass. However, we will then give the slipstream back to uh, all of them lot behind. They might not quite be close enough to have a dive. I'm going to park it in the middle just to discourage a dive from going on. Uh, although that puts me slow on the exit. We can just clip a curb. I get a little, little bit of a curb boost. Right. That is our lead pack. So Gliska needs Nine Tails, Amy, Level 8, and Valtain are our leaders. We can be quick through here. I mean, we are just bringing another pack with us at the moment. That's going to get crazy. Oh, that's a terrible line to be on into that corner. It's a good... I'd say it's... It's a place to try and overtake personally. Personally, I'm not a fan of that as a spot to go for an overtake. Not because it's not doable, but because... You can try and go for the outbreak. Ooh, I've locked the rears. I've lost all momentum. Uh, yeah, you can try and get for an overtake. And, you know, it's fair enough to try. But you get, even if you get it done, you're going to be so slow on the exit that it's almost not worth it. And that's why I think you're better off. Follow the car. Go for the move down the start-finish straight. Use the slipstream. I, the inside there just doesn't seem to work. It's such a fast corner that that inside line is not really advantageous. You just kind of lose all momentum on the exit. That was very late on the brakes by me. A little too late. We almost lost the back end through all of this. But, oh, there's a car out in a lamppost. Horrible place to be stuck. Uh, we've seen a couple of cars end up out there. Sadly, it is one of the dangers. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. But it does happen around there. You've got to really be careful. Uh, come on. Come on. 
Hits the slipstream. Not going to be enough. Stinty is caught us. Danger Man has come to join in the race as well. We will, uh, I say, let Stinty go. No point fighting too hard. We got to the inside, but I know Stinty's going to get a better run. That's fine. I'm going to sit back in the slipstream. Uh, not going to fight through here, though. This is an understeer. This just caused so much problems with these cars catching understeer. Danger Man has got to the inside. Oh, hello. <laughs> Uh, there are no option but to slam on the brakes. Level 8 tangled with 9 tails, I think, uh, through there. And, I mean, yeah, it was it was unfortunate. Couldn't do anything else about it. Um, just where they came across the, the track on that point. Uh, no slipstream for me. Game! So cruel. So cruel. It's Gliska versus Amy at the front. Two laps to go. We are very slidey into turn one there. Uh, we'll lose a place. It's not the worst thing in the world. Like, we'll lose... We're still with this group. We're very much with this group. No, don't do that there. Um, don't really want to slow Blakey down particularly. I don't want to slow Blakey down because I want to catch the group ahead. And we're better off not trying to fight through these really fast corners. Uh, we're better off waiting for a more opportune moment. I don't mind that we've fallen out of the draft here, actually, because it's going to get messy, potentially. So we're just be neat and tidy. Stinty and Danger Man got connected. We helped level 8 out of the corner. Problem is, we've caught this group, but I've got a massive pack behind me as well. Oh, and as we catch, and we're slowing each other down massively with this fighting, the big pack of cars are going to join us as well. This is going to quickly descend into madness, I think. Uh, I don't really want to be here for the madness, but yeah, we've got Ninetales, Expert, and a whole bunch of other cars. I'm not sure who else is. It might be Mute in that, I think. Oh, that's already a three wide. Don't get involved. Uh, <laughs> I think Blakey actually wanted to cut back underneath everybody there, and I ended up sort of blocking Blakey a little because uh, we were there. This is... That's dicey. Almost three wide through a very quick section of track. Uh, we've got nowhere to go. It's just... It's just <laughs> there's just cars everywhere. We might sneak to the inside here, though. I'll take that. That is a nice opportunistic... Uh, Little movement there. We're through. Go to the draft very well here. We've got a humongous slipstream. Why could that not have been the final lap? It would have been a Team Orange 1 2 as we cross the line. Amy and Gliska fought each other pretty hard. Blakey slides very wide out of turn one. So the whole gang is here. Don't know what way this is going to go. It's probably going to be madness. We are three wide here. Amy backs out of it. Probably wise in the middle of that. <laughs> I couldn't back out of it because I was on such a wonky line. We kind of had to go for it. I mean, these cars have got enough grip to get away with that sort of stuff. But yeah, someone was going to have to yield at some point in that corner. Uh, Amy's got the better run down here. Blakey's on the extreme outside and it's my turn to have to yield just because we were going to run out of space. Squished in the middle there. It's two by two. Don't want to be two by two. Whoa, don't want to be sideways either. Put a win on the dirt. That was my stupid, really. Just, yeah, massive, massive slide. Stinty wants to have a go to the inside. Don't want to give that position up, particularly. Uh, I mean, it's all going to be shuffled out as, <laughs> as we leave the hairpin. It's going to get mayhem. Danger Man's here. Level 8's here. Uh, Mute might still be in that pack, I don't know, can't see. It's three wide into the hairpin. We send Stinty the long way round. Uh, oh, Blakey and Amy almost getting connected again with different cars. Stinty is on the outside of a three wide at the corner where three wide really doesn't work and Stinty's going to lose out a bit. Uh, we've got a good run. Now we're on the outside. Oh, no, we're in the middle. Oh, that's really brave from a level eight, I think. I've had to lift because I was going to understeer my way into a Blakey. Now we come up towards this final sort of chicane. Who is going to be in the right place? Is it going to be Blakey? Is it going to be me? Is it going to be Amy? Someone's going to get a slipstream. It looks like it's going to be Amy. I got nothing in that one. And I don't know. I think Amy won it from Blakey. Bloody hell. <laughs> that was an amazing battle. That was... An absolutely amazing battle. Oh. Amy took victory. Blakey gets second. Gliska gets third. We will claim fourth head of Stinty. Level eight uh, in sixth head of Danger Man. Mute eighth. Salmon ninth. And Stevie will round out the top ten. The fastest lap of the race doesn't even go to anybody in the top 17. Uh, 
And the filler gets the fastest lap of the race in 19th place. <laughs> oh. Bloody hell. Well done, Amy. Yeah, that was a really, really good race. That was a really good race. So I'm annoyed I couldn't get any slipstream on that toe to the line. We just couldn't. We couldn't. For, we just, I guess we were just a little too far back for it to activate. And once they shot forward, we could not. Um, ah, bugger. Bugger and blast. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that was a good fun race. That, that was a really good fun race. Um... So there we go. Uh, roll on loophole. Thank you very much for the donation. I uh, saying, why did the Lamborghini go into ghost mode? Uh, because it's a Bu Bugatti. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a boo. I feel like there's boo in the pun. It's got to be a boo. I'm not sure it quite makes a huge amount of sense, but it is going <laughs> to be a boo. Uh, but thank you very much for the. Uh, for the donation. Uh, right, we will go... Oh, bloody hell, time has got on. Uh, we will head to a legendary circuit. Yes, it is that time. I don't know... I will basically send an invite to all from previous job. I think we can only get um, 16 people in, if I remember correctly, because this is a very, very old track. So it'll be first connected gets in. And yeah, <laughs> if if you are if you are in, uh, then fantastic. We will probably drive. Well, you know what? We'll drive Guardians. We know we've driven a lot of wacky things around here, but uh, we haven't actually driven the originals very often. Here, oh, it's, it's not even. Oh, we get twenty. Huh. I don't know how I can manage to get 20 and not 30, but we can get 20 into Guardians of the Motorway because the game didn't let me have motorway fully. Uh, <laughs> let's do it. Oh, I've not driven this track in a very, very long time. In a very, very long time indeed. Seven laps? Sure, why not? Uh, current, noon, traffic has to be high. Custom vehicles, no thank you. So, we will have everybody from last job, whoever gets in, gets in. I don't know if I can have wanted level. I can, yes. <laughs> oh no, we have Nareth joining us. That's always bad. <laughs> Nareth likes to get police and cause extra, extra super, super duper silly mayhem. Oh dear. Ah. Oh. So, everybody, please get in the Guardian for this one, okay? Uh, we are going to be we're going to be racing the Guardian. It is a special kind of complete mayhem. I, in some ways, this is more mayhem than the Tubes of Despair or the Oval of Misfortune. In some ways, it's not. As I mean, this was built. This was built a long, long time ago, before we had access to a lot of the crazy props. There was a limit of what I could do back when I made this. I might make an updated one. Uh, maybe, maybe someday I will build an updated Guardians of the Motorway. Um, so, yeah, we're we're preparing for complete ridiculous chaos. Um, I give it about a lap before the police are involved. <laughs> Especially if Nareth if Nareth has a good starting spot on the grid and gets off the line well, maybe longer than a lap. But if Nareth has a bad start, almost immediately we'll probably go and find police. Uh, right, we will get this done. Everyone go in Guardians. Everyone go in Guardians. Please remember to drive the bloody Guardian. And ah. Uh, uh, Let's see what happens. I'm expecting a lot of pain in this one. Why is that thing black? That is the wrong colour. We can't be doing that. That's the colour. That's the right colour. Here we go. The best colour. Um, 
Let us go and drive. We might... We might drive monster trucks to finish. We'll see. We'll see. I apologise, there's only 20 spots in this race. Uh, so, unfortunately, some some were will miss out on, on spots. I'm sorry. Um, there's a Kalahari and there's a bike. <laughs> Uh, well, the Kalahari is going to have a bad time. The bike is a little bit cheap. Um, oh, bloody hell, that didn't even give me a countdown. Uh, we will see. I don't know whether a bike's advantageous or not. What is that car doing? That's the worst, like, join onto the motorway. Oh, you twat. <laughs> God, Danger Man has... Oh, it's gone very wrong immediately. <laughs> it's glorious. Look at the mess. <laughs> Oh, the glorious mess has happened. Yes. The glorious mess has occurred. The bike's not surviving that. The bike's not surviving that at all. Oh, someone put an FQ2 in my path. But that's okay. We can we can bunce it out of the way. Where are you going? I don't know. Uh, where the hell did that pink car come from? It just climbed the mountain. Uh, you see, it's all very... Oh, there's been a roll for the leader. The leader clipped, I think they clipped the edge, like the barrels and the edge of the kind of central reservation, that metal, whatever you want to call it, piping. Uh, oh, bloody hell, trying to pick a gap. And you see, this is all very well and good, me doing this now when, when we lead. Um, it is one thing on the first lap when you lead to be able to uh, generally avoid the chaos. It's going to get worse. It's going to get so much worse. Bliss is going to give us a bump draft. I'm fine with that. Uh, we will lead the way. Oh, there's a truck. And then we will jump on the brakes and we will try and get the big beast turned around the corner. Bliss is going for a cutback. Couldn't quite do it. We sort of blocked it unintentionally, just the line we were on. That was the only way we could... We ran out of steering lock, basically. Narefs. I know why there's a bike. Narefs has got the police. Immediately I saw the police going on there. Um, it has taken less than a lap and Nareths has found a way to irritate the police. And that's going to make a really big mess. You see see why every lap this gets harder? Because more and more cars get wrecked. Oh, Eve, don't stand on the keyboard. Eve, uh, please don't stop the stream. If the stream suddenly dies, it's the cat's fault. Eve's got massive zoomies and she decided to investigate the keyboard. Uh, right, Gliska, I'm happy to just push you at the moment. There's no, no reason to not do this. We can stay out of trouble. And that will be fine. Oh. Well, both of us got turned into by dumb AI cars. Oh, Gliska's beached it on a barrel. Uh, <laughs> uh, Danger Man, we cannot have you winning. Okay, Gliska, good choice. Make sure Danger Man can't win. Uh, we can't have a Kalahari win. Oh, we've been spun and pushed and stuck. Oh, I'm just trying to get going again. The problem is the turning circle is pitiful. Uh, oh, hello. Yeah, Gleska got beaten by a barrel. <laughs> oh, go on, purple truck. Who is that? Is that Stinty stuck on this? Oh, no. Mafia Dad got stuck on the central reservation. Oh, there's going to be a gap somewhere. The police are here. The police are going to be a game changer. Also, the track's blocked. <laughs> track is being blocked here. Oh, mutes had a death. Helped by me, unintentionally, but it was. The track is already heavily blocked here. The police are involved. Gliska found the gap. Um, Nareths has has police, and there are helicopters. And this is the battle for the lead now. Oh, Danger Man has found a unique use for the Kalahari. In that the Kalahari scoops guardians, because it's the, the nose is so low, it can scoop the guardian up and dump it out of the way. I mean, the Kalahari is not very strong, but it is lighter, and it can... I mean, I haven't got a wanted level yet, which is good. Um, the Kalahari can dodge stuff a little bit better, but it can also get bullied very heavily by Guardians if uh, if we wanted to slash on the final lap. If we... Oh, Amy met a car of some description. Um... I mean, yeah, the lack of straight line speed in the Kalahari is going to be negated by it being able to slipstream a Guardian. Uh, it will be able, it will be, that will rectify it. Oh, don't. We're going to get screwed. I'm try, I desperately wanted to get across. Maybe I should have tried to stay on the outside, but I feel like I was running out of space. Gliska's pissed off the police. Well, not them specifically. The refs brought them, and I think Gliska hit 
one of the cops out of their cars. Oh, bloody hell. I oh, have now. I've now got a wanted level as well. Awesome. Uh, the one problem Danger Man is going to end up having. Is, oh no, Danger Man's not leading. Vortex is leading? How did I miss that? Oh, they got through the roadblock. I assumed they didn't. I take it back. Um, I, yeah, I, I assume I'd lost sight of Vortex. I assumed they got stuck in that roadblock and we'd come out in the lead battle, but apparently not. Uh, right, we know there's going to be a roadblock up here. There is Vortex, actually, in the white truck. Uh, so Danger Man's got through. We don't really have any other choice uh, than to push stuff. Uh, and once you have a wanted level, there's no getting out of it here. It's not happening. Um, it, it just isn't. Um, especially with Nareth bringing helicopters and things. So, Danger Man leads over there in the Kalahari. We've got me, Vortex, and Gliska trying to chase... Me and Gliska at least have wanted levels. I think Amy does as well. I'm not sure, though. So we're going to be surrounded by police cars. Uh, I don't think Danger Man does yet. Uh, I suspect Vortex might do now. Yeah, Vortex definitely does, because that car is uh, swerving around in front. I am going to try and not get a three-star wanted level. Gliska's fallen over. Amy, we will push you through there. Whoa. Uh, oh, crap. Sometimes there's no option but to try and push things. And this works, like, if Danger Man gets stuck in that situation, it's bad news for the Kalahari. Uh, well, sorry, officer. <laughs> I didn't want that. I didn't have a choice. Uh, well, I don't want more... I don't want a higher wanted level. I also don't want to have to lose speed. That police car can go off-roading. Uh, right, Danger Man has... I'm actually really surprised at that Kalahari. Oh, it's about to get stuck, though. We've got police trouble going on. Uh, we will handbrake turn it quite well here. So there is Danger Man. Mutes try to climb over everyone. Uh, our Danger Man got through before it's got completely blocked. Glisk has hit it with some speed. This has gone wrong. I thought I could climb at least a little bit. Uh, climb. Okay, well that's worked. We'll find a gap. That is going to be worse for Danger Man next lap around. It's bad for us. It's going to get worse. We're only on lap four. That is just... And it's not going to despawn because... Well, the field is quite spread out. Oh, I was hoping that was going to stay a gap. It really didn't. Things have gone really badly wrong for me here. We were battling for the lead and... It's just fallen apart. Eve the Zoomosaurus is going in the office. Uh, you may hear random scrabbling around. Yep. That's her. Cass was doing it earlier. Now it's Eve's turn. Oh, bloody hell, this track is a mess. Uh, oh, where is Laggy McGlitch a lot? I don't know where that police car is anymore. Uh, Danger Man's lead. Oh, no! I didn't know where Amy was going. Danger Man still leads, although has lost some time to us. Has probably got police trouble by now. Uh, we managed to have a police car spin us. I think just about everybody has a wanted level now. This this line works. Just any line that's giving us some sort of forward momentum. I don't care where we go. Just as long as it's something. Uh, God damn it. We were catching Danger Man and then we all bumbled over around that hairpin. And now we're not catching Danger Man anymore. A uh, little bit of a slipstream train going on down here. We actually want these in a line. So it sounds a little bit silly. Uh, but the, the theory is pretty solid. If we have all of these in a line, we have so much momentum that no roadblock is actually going to stop us. Uh, so we're happy to try and... Oh, there was a gap. I didn't think there was a gap on the outside. Uh, Danger Man's lost a huge swathe of time uh, there. It's all gone horribly wrong for Danger Man at the moment. Uh, we will get past that police car. Um, that is so bad. I don't even know how we do this. I think Vortex might actually have the right idea here. Um, Ewan has another idea that does also work quite well. If you can get back across. Um, yeah, me and Vortex made it work on that wide outside line. Also, Wool Allures, thank you very much uh, for the donations, by the way. Uh, we are out of the wanted radius very briefly. Uh, so I shall read those before the final round. Um, I just can't. I can't read them at the moment. 
for a second I thought they were flying cars. No, no, it's just helicopters. I thought it was something that just got pinged up into space, but no, no. There's just three helicopters now watching this mess. Uh, Ewan's got stuck. We are battling Ewan for position, I believe. I think it's Vortex leading from Gliska, me, Ewan, Amy, and then Danger Man. Danger Man's Kalahari might finally be facing too much traffic. Uh, <laughs> it was a really good strategy for a while for what was supposed to be a joke car is surprisingly good oh dear you don't want to move across there not when it's three wide uh Nerevs has finally been killed by the police on that bike uh where's the gap going to appear which is going to follow gliska if gliska gets stuck we're going to push gliska forward uh two two guardians are better than one here i'm actually happy just to go for momentum uh, this is not me trying to spin Gliska. This is not me trying to be an arse. Uh, this is legit a good strategy. Because if Gliska hits something and loses a lot of speed, I will then hit and push uh, the car forward like that. Admittedly, it doesn't always work, but it gives us the best chance of keeping going. I'll battle for position on the final lap of the race. At the moment, it's get to the final lap of the race. Uh, so it's a weird sort of teamwork that we have going on. Oh, no! Tyres! Tires. We've both lost a tire. Um, that is not good. That is not good. Do we keep going or do we reset? Uh, we've got a pretty big lead, but I feel like I'm gonna need. I'm definitely gonna need a reset here because um, I'm gonna. We're gonna have too much problem. Can I make the most of the ghost mode? Uh, no, but there is a gap appearing there. So I will take my punishment of the of the reset. It's worth it. Uh, oh, I thought that was going to go the other way. Oh no. Guardian, get back there. You bugger. Danger Man may have missed a checkpoint by the looks of it. Oh, Vortex and Gliska got connected. Where's there going to be a gap? Oh, not there. Oh, well, we've all pushed ourselves forward. Right, we're going back to teamwork, probably. Gliska's got so much police trouble up ahead. That car was an idiot. It had a clean path and then just swerved in front of the massive trucks heading towards it. Awesome stuff. Uh, oh, Gliska's still got the tyre down, actually. I mean, oh, even with that tyre down, I'm still happy to push a Gliska forward because it's... Uh, Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that one. Uh, the, the, I'm thinking we could make a nice gap to get aim for. Uh, bloody police cars everywhere. Gliska's actually bounced over the central reservation. This has got ridiculous now. Uh, we are still going. I mean, we might have actually not had a wanted level for a little while at one point when we were reset. I don't know how it works. I wasn't really paying attention. The, the track is so messy that, you know, it's going to happen really quickly. Gliska's dragged a police car with them. Ewan leads the way. Five seconds, you can just see Ewan up the road there. Ewan has the lead of the race. What are these police cars going to do? You just never know. Sometimes they're you know, sometimes they're aiming for you, sometimes they're aiming for somebody else. You just never know if you're suddenly going to come across a roadblock or if it's going to be fine. Oh, we'd almost get fired up the uh, slip road. <laughs> and the green truck's fallen over. We got shot a bit. Uh, oh, dodge that one, dodge all of this. That is a bad day to be an AI car. Where is a Ewan? Oh, thank you, red truck. Uh, you're a lap down, but the push is always appreciated here. Um, get out of the way, police car. And off goes the sinking. Thought I heard some bullets just bouncing across my car. Um, right. What do we do up here? Oh, lots of bullets coming from the uh, helicopter there. All right, I feel like we've got to go round is the best option. Climb. That wasn't. We're stuck. It would have been the best option. However, we got stuck. Oh, God damn it. We still have a wanted level from uh, the reset anyway. Ewan is going to win this. Barring a massive problem. Also, that was not a player, by the way. That was an AI truck going the wrong way down the motorway. It took a second for my brain to register that. Uh, oh, oh dear. I did not want to go over here. And I've missed that checkpoint. Because I was trying to not get slowed down by the police car. But that's actually caused me a whole load of grief. There is there is Ewan. No, if we hadn't got fired the wrong way, we would have been fine. Uh, there's a little gap there that we're going to... We would have been fine. We would have been in with a fight. Actually, Ewan's... 
No, wait, that might have been Amy. Ewan's miles out in front. Um, never mind. I take that one back. Ewan has got a massive lead here. Out. That was a good shot from somebody there. Uh, oh, it's not Ewan. It's just another dark colored. No, it is a Ewan. What has happened? Wait, that is Ewan and Amy right there. Ewan's lost all the tires down one side. This is the battle for the lead. Between me, you and Amy, and Vortex is not very far behind us. Uh, an orange truck got spun by the police cars. We've been gifted a lead at the moment. We're going to go round the outside of this. I just don't want to. Oh, come on. Little bit of curb boost, maybe. Off of there. Right, here we go. This is the battle to the finish line. Where is the pink truck going to go? It's going to give us a push. Uh, where are the police cars going to be? There. Is any more traffic going to cause us grief? There's one more police car to potentially screw us. Now it's a battle to the finish line. Amy's got no slipstream. There's nothing they can do. We will claim victory. We got pushed a fair bit at the end there. We did get pushed well towards the end. We will take a victory in this one. Amy gets second. Not sure where Ewan is going to end up in all of this. I presume third, although it might have got worse. Vortex might have got them on the run to the line. Oh dear. I thought we were done for when we had to do that reset at the top of the hill. Um, Ewan did end up third, Gliska fourth, Vortex fifth. Oh, Ewan gets fastest lap of 49. Bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> Ewan had no tyres by the end. You really pissed off the police. Um, Nareths, you did go a little bit... Uh, you did, well, you definitely did have something to do with the wanted level. It went very over the top all of a sudden. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you and somehow managing to finish with no ties. Danger Man did amazingly well with that Kalahari for a while, and then it got too busy. As soon as the track started filling up with cars, that just the Kalahari couldn't survive. Respect for getting it as far as it did. Like, that, that did so well for a while, uh, despite being, I say, technically cheaty. You, you don't expect in this sort of a race the Kalahari to do as well as it did. Um, it did amazingly well until it got just too busy. When it got to that stage where it couldn't push through the wrecks easily, that was when it was done for. Um, like that. That is a good example. I think it got through that quite well, but... Uh, oh. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. <laughs> good jump. <laughs> what a flight. What a flight indeed. Oh. We will have one more race. Don't go anywhere, folks. We will have one more race, and it is one of the most ridiculous combinations we can do. But before we do that, uh, for the cult, thank you very much for the donation. I think we are still actually at the cult of 69. Uh, we are indeed. Thank you very much. Uh, saying there's loads of cars uh, deliberately driving the wrong way around the Guardians of the Motorway track. <laughs> Mod should probably kick them. Ah, yes, we're being terrible cheats and all that. Terrible, terrible cheats. Um, uh, Die Kick, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying a major traffic jam has occurred on on uh, Highway Northeast, leaving and entering Los Santos by few <laughs> rebels racing there. Yeah, we made a mess of the motorway. The motorway. The motor wah. Uh, we made a very big mess of it. Uh, <laughs> and then it was for the police and oh, it didn't work. Well it did work. It was what it was what chat wanted to see. It was what we expected to see, really. Uh, uh, Christian Sweden, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, ah, managed to see a few chaotic races live. Uh, we'll see the rest when it's uploaded. Uh, yeah, of course, the, the great advantage of, of YouTube streaming uh, is that this this VOD will go live straight away afterwards. So if you're just tuning in now, well, I mean, you're about to watch something amazing. Um, if you are just tuning in now uh, and you've missed the earlier part of the stream or maybe only watched it the last hour or so, you can, at the end of the stream, you can go back and watch all of it in its entirety. Skip to the races you want to see and all of that sort of stuff. Um... It is, uh, it is quite, uh, it is quite nice. Uh, we shall just do that. So... The vehicles we are going to be using for this next round are monster trucks. You can use either of them. The Guardian, uh, not Guardian, sorry, the Marshal or the Liberator. Use whichever one you want, but a monster truck. These are very bouncy, very silly, and don't really work. I can't use ramp cars. This was made long before ramp cars were even a thing. So, 
in, in GT, actually probably before ramp cars were even a thing anywhere, to be honest. Uh, no, uh, when, did, when did Mythbusters do the ramp truck? It might, the ramp truck's probably older than this. Uh, the, this was made before the Fast and Furious film with the flip cars. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure it was, anyway. But uh, yes, for this, uh, you, we must be using a monster truck. Okay, I don't care which one, but yeah, you've got to use a monster truck. We've done this once, a couple of times before, maybe. It is, it, it's way, way more ridiculous than the Guardians. Uh, these will climb over roadblocks, but they bounce erratically, to say the least. They, they bounce so erratically that, um, yeah. It's going to be fun. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull off another victory, but you never know. You never know. Uh, sound of white noise. Thank you very much for the donation. I will alert you. Say, Alex, thank you very much for today. This was amazing. And I hope to improve for the uh, next time. It's been a blast. Uh, thank you very much for joining. Uh, as I said, I'm, I'm glad you've been enjoying the races. Um, what, what flag shall we run under today? Uh, shall we? You know what? We'll race under the Swiss flag. Let's go for it. Um, I'm, I know, I'm sure you will. Uh, it's just it's just practice. It's just getting used to a different game, a different sort of style of, you know, I say driving, depending on what you might be used to playing or you know, maybe not played racing games for a long time. I'm sure you will pick it up and, and over time will, I say, get faster and faster. Uh, it's just practice. Uh, I mean, we've had so many years of, of practicing and racing each other, really, on this game that uh, I spot a Kalahari. <laughs> I see one. I think that's Amy. I think that's Amy trying to drive a Kalahari. Um, here we go. The game is not wanting to give me a countdown. We are off. <laughs> Gliska also saw Amy trying to drive a Kalahari and decided the Kalahari should be no more. I approve of the takeout. That was a great effort right there. Uh, we are going to try and avoid some of the mayhem. Um, the Kalahari lives. Uh, and the re I, I mean... I figured there was going to be lots of people driving a British monster truck, or an English one, or whichever, so I figured I'd drive somewhere, you know, a a, a less likely to uh, to be represented truck. I feel like if you see a Kalahari, you must crash into it. I feel like that is a, a pretty, pretty legit tactic here, um, which we shall go for. Ugh. It's a bit of a squeeze. So one of the bigger difficulties with a monster truck is because it's so wide, the safe zones for avoiding cars is a little bit more difficult. Is that a Nareth's going for the police? I don't know where that, what truck, why that's doing things. Uh, oh, piss. <laughs> Got stuck on the railing. Ah, I'm in the middle of the road. Uh, there's not much I can do here. Um, wait, can I? I'm now just stuck. I'm sorry. Climb over here. Ah, oh. right, that's gone poorly as well. Uh, oh god, damn it! Uh, can I get out of this nicely? I'm gonna guess with a no. Oh, that worked way better than I expected. And why is that flying? Why is that what? There are two flying monster trucks. Ewan's got a Kalahari as well. <laughs> Come here, Ewan. I'm not breaking. <laughs> I'm not breaking of the hairpin. There is a chance to murder a Kalahari. A murder is happening. <laughs> I just said if there was a Kalahari, you can crash into it. <laughs> and I'm going to be taking that one literally at this point. Sorry, not sorry, actually. I'm not, I'm not sorry. You technically didn't follow the rules. We said everyone in monster trucks, okay? Those were the rules. You chose to break the rules and you became a massive target. So we're just playing by said rules. Um, oh, there's a wheeling, a wheeling truck having some issues. Oh, the police are here. Oh, there's a Liberator stuck on a bridge. Oh, I know, stuck on a bridge. Uh, why do I have a feeling Nareth's had something to do with this? I'm just going to presume it was Nareth's. Oh, monster truck ahead of me, move. You've caused me more grief than anything else here. Uh, right. I'm just going to jump this lot. Little roadblocks. Oh, for God's sake. We're going over here now. Uh, <laughs> uh, who's leading? Amy still leads. This will not do. Where is that Kalahari? I feel like it needs to meet a monster truck. No, oh, it's met some traffic instead. I think it will, like, much like Danger Man's tactic, it worked for a while. Once the police and AI cars start blocking the road, I think it will at some point get stuck. 
Oh, police car, why? I didn't want to run you over, but you really didn't give me much of a choice there. Uh, likewise, that one didn't give me much of a choice either. Uh, <laughs> hello, Gliska. Right, shall we work together to go murder a Kalahari? I feel like it's a good idea. These are not really able to bump draft. Uh, the physics on them isn't great. And the refs has got an insurgent and is playing bring police and cause mayhem. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's not what I, that's not how I expected that to go at all. We've got past the roadblock, I guess that's something. Uh, right. Oh. I actually would have probably been better hitting that dead on. Stinty now leads the race. Uh, so, Kalahari is no longer leading. I believe Stinty is in a monster truck at least, so that's something. Uh, yeah, Stinty leads. Amy is still second. We've caught maybe a little bit this lap. Unfortunately, though, we have gained a wanted level, which we really didn't need here. It makes life a lot more difficult for us. I think it's inevitable you're going to get it, uh, especially with the amount of stuff going on here. You're going to get it at some point. Good news is the monster trucks can't lose tyres. Uh, as far as I'm aware. The Kalaharis might be able to, though. Is that Stinty making a roadblock up ahead? I think it is. No, no, it's not. Never mind. I know Stinty is in a greenish truck, but uh, I, think, I think Stinty is black and green, rather. Like, the, the main body of the truck is black, uh, with bits of green. Uh, and that other one was green and red or something. I don't know. Oh, police car, why? Oh, there was such a good gap to aim for, and then you're being a twat. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> You deserve to be crashed into for that one. I don't know what you expect. Like, all you're doing is making a minor inconvenience for a monster truck. Um, that's that's all you're doing here. Or oh, actually, okay, well, you made a bigger inconvenience for a monster. You, you've inconvenienced me in my race. You've not inconvenienced me in the grand scheme of, you know, your plans of stopping me. Uh, can we get that? Oh, come on, monster truck. Bloody hell. Uh, we would have crashed into Amy, but... We did also still need to try and make this corner up here. Oh, come on. Climb. Or push. Push or climb. I don't care what. Just move things around. I guess that works, really. Uh, oh, there's a Kalahari. He's gone to orbit and exploded. <laughs> Mutes Kalahari with with uh, a huge flight. Uh, right. Can we wiggle our way through here. We can. Okay, we've only got two star. If I can avoid running over anybody. I th is it? Okay, it is. Stinty's in the Jamaican truck. Uh, so, that is second place ahead of us. Amy still has a very big lead, which... Oh, no! Gather it back up! Yes! Where is a uh, Amy's stuck in that group of cars. Uh, the Kalahari is, is living pretty well here. Uh, oh... Bloody van, you twat bag. I swear the police are working for the Kalaharis here. They've not really caused too much chaos for Amy. I mean, we've lost as much time navigating that as the Kalahari bloody did. Stinty has gone for the more brute force tactic than I, than I did. I don't know whether that's worked much better or not, really. Come on, monster truck. You can do this. Oh, no. Police car. Why? Uh -huh climbing over everything. There's a roadblock up here that's got very glitchy and weird. Whoa. Uh oh. Sabre Turbo, please don't kill us. Uh, ah. I mean, if... Oh, come on. Find some traction. Find some... Not like that. Stinty just joined me with that plan. Only Stinty did it way better. Oh, no. We're just This is not working. We're not being... We're not really able to catch the Kalahari at the moment. Because uh, we just keep getting stuck in different ways. So we have different problems. The Kalahari has its problems. We just have different ones. Uh, Gliska is battling us for positions. There is the leader. The pink machine is leading the way. Uh, Stinty's got tr into trouble with the police car. This is such a mess of trucks. Uh, you know what? We will try and get over here. Nope game has rejected my plan. <laughs> it was a good plan had it worked. Uh, the game just decided to nope. And uh, Ewan can go for a spin there as well. You, We are battling, battling Ewan for position too. So, you know, there is that. That is another Kalahari for position. 
which is definitely not going to be allowed to get past. This is a massive mess of cars. Where is the Grizzly going? I have no idea. Uh, well, I don't want to keep going over the barrier. It's the last thing I want to do. I don't know how the Kalahari hasn't got boxed in somewhere yet. G-Wagon, why? Why? It's so uncool for- What is going on with this G-Wagon? Oh, it's a policeman, I think, has nicked it. That G-Wagon has absolutely screwed me over. Um, that is so annoying. Ah! Oh. I'm actually getting really annoyed with the bloody police cars. I, I actually prefer the Guardian to the monster truck. It's so much nicer to drive. Uh, oh, that has that, gone wrong for that monster truck over there. Is it Nugs? Got obliterated by a police car. Um, can we murder a Ewan? Yep. <laughs> we did the pinball shot. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Why physics? Why would you want that? Oh, okay, there we go. Well, the pinball shot, the karma got the better of us. Uh, <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> ah! I looked at chat for a second, and that happened. Don't look at chat. It's, it doesn't work when I'm in the middle of a race like this. Can I go around the outside? Oh, there's a crash barrier there. Oh, there we go. That's fine. Ewan's somehow on a slip road. Uh, Ewan's vehicle's smoking. Oh, I wanted to be the one that killed Ewan. I've kind of given up on the race, and my objective now is mostly to kill Kalahari's. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> Danger Man's died. Uh, Stinty's had a terrible time as well. Oh. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you and blew up. <laughs> and now everything is magically better. I no longer care about the fact this race has fallen apart a little bit. I say that, and we're still battling for a podium spot. Um, oh, yeah, we're not ever going to make that. I don't... I uh, might be able to. Uh, no. No. Oh, come on, monster truck. Just at least get the checkpoint. For Christ's sake, I'm just going to reset. I can't be bothered with this. Uh, <laughs> like, it's just... At that point, I might as well just reset. Last, Typically, the time I try to do the, the spin around, we get screwed. The time I don't bother going for the sort of... The time I try to climb over everything is the time where... Oh, we actually got out of the circle briefly. Stinty's had a terrible time of it anyway. Uh, Stinty's got just as stuck further down and then crashed off of that. Right. Gliska is second within 10 or so seconds of Amy. We're out of this as far as a victory goes, barring anything massively weird. But this is a track for massively weird to happen on, let's face it. We've actually had a pretty good run down here. We found ourselves in a little bit of clean air. That, I think, was Amy possibly going the other way? There is Gliska. So, can we navigate our way around here? What we can do is... Yep, that worked very well. I would not want to be on this motorway on a scooter. <laughs> That's not where you want to be at all. I wouldn't want to be in a car, but at least a car would give me some protection against, well, that. As White Noise has an amazing stunt. That's another wonderful monster truck stunt for today. Can we get past that? Don't spin me, you... Bloody police cars. Uh... It, it's so annoying how easy it is to spin out a monster truck with a car. I feel like that shouldn't quite work. Uh, jank, I mean, there's a lot of jank in terms of the physics here. But the ability to pit maneuver a monster truck with a regular car is, is up there in terms of jank. Uh, Amy and Gliska might be quite close together. If that, if that thing is just pinged up, it means there must have been a change for the lead. We are going over here now, apparently. We're away from the road. I've got to get to a checkpoint, though, at some point. Hold on! There's a checkpoint. There is. Right. Go away, police car. There is a danger. Oh, danger man's in a... I didn't even know you could get that. Um, but that is a choice and a half of vehicle. There is Amy and Gliska, so they are not... I think we're going to have to all just go for that plan, really. There's not much more you can do at that that juncture. Oh, for God's sake, literally whatever way I go here is wrong. If we try and spin around and go back this way, uh, there's a Ewan. Oh, God, there's police cars. Uh, right. Because, yeah, I mean, we might be racing technically along the right side of the road very briefly there, but you are racing into your own traffic, and Stinty's actually gone just as quickly as us there. Oh! 
The police have made a nuisance of themselves, and for all of us there, we've all equally had trouble. Amy is not that far away. We've got one lap to go. Can the Kalahari cling on? Can Uslot find a way to make it not cling on? Uh, that is the real question. One of those bollards got stuck underneath. There's a buccaneer tried to kill Gliska. Uh, I saw that one in time to bail. Oh, we survived that one. There is the leader. It is not a very big lead anymore. Oh, Gliska locked up as we locked up. And we all got a little bit in trouble there. Police can shoot. You can't burst a tire on this truck. Uh, there is a pink Kalahari. There is a police car that <laughs> has been bullied out of the way. Come on. Come on, Swiss monster truck. Uh, you can do this. You can do this. Oh, I think Amy's got in trouble. The Gliska got clipped by something. Uh, we're going to clip that out of the way. Amy's getting bullied by a police car. The Kalahari stuck on the wall. We're going to give it a punt for good luck, and Gliska's going to punt us over. Uh, that has gone quite well for the monster trucks there. N less well for Amy. You know the rules, you're in a Kalahari, you get bullied. However, that was a fairly tame bullying right there. Uh, there's a lot of police cars. There's a lot of police cars here. Oh, and Amy got wiped out by one of them. <laughs> Just saw a pink Kalahari shoot up the banking. Right. It is me, Gliska, and Amy really for the lead. Stinty's 14 seconds back. Not completely out of it, but... Oh, bloody hell. This is going to be a throw the monster. Actually... No, the hairpin's not as busy as it has been before. Uh, we are around quite nicely. Gliska's doing a Tony Hawk stunt right there. Uh, we are desperately trying to turn. We have made the corner. Gliska's stuck. Amy's stuck. We have got clear. However, it's never over. It's never over here because I don't know what this side of the road is going to hold. Oh, that side of the road is horrifically messy all of a sudden. It wasn't like that when we went past. There's police cars. There's a van in the way. We're doing a wheelie. A lot of bullets are pinging off of our car uh, truck at the moment. We've weaved our way through. Mafia Dad's the wrong side of the road. Danger Man's a nuisance. Uh, <laughs> just in general, but particularly there, we are clear. We're 10 seconds ahead of Gliska. Amy's got stuck somewhere. Amy's lost a huge amount of time on the final lap of the race. The Kalahari fans out there, I'm sorry to tell you, it has gone horribly wrong. I think Amy got stuck in the car park at the top, I think, is what's happened there. Oh, there's police vans. I don't know what way to go. I'm trying not to wheelie. Uh, the, the vehicle in second can just go for it. It doesn't matter to them. They've got. There's no harm in trying anything. For me, I can lose it here if I'm not careful. Uh, whoa. Stinty had a... Not Stinty. Stevie had a big problem here. It's actually brought a load of vans and police cars towards me. Uh, is that Gliska? Is Gliska in second, uh, who is just getting to the hairpin? I mean, we're in a pretty good position here. Oh, police car through the central reservation. Grizzly having a spin. This might... That police car has turned to go after Stevie rather than going after me. I think we might be able to just momentum our way pretty much to the finish line. Oh, no. Oh, we've got pushed. We've done it. Danger Man almost cost us. I don't know who was in that British truck, but you saved us. Uh, <laughs> many rude words were about to be shouted at Danger Man. However, someone saved us. I don't know who did. Somebody saved us in that one. It punted me clear of the barrier so we weren't stuck on it anymore. Whew. <laughs> oh, I do feel sorry for... I don't feel sorry for Amy. However... However, that was the risk you took, and it was the bully, the Kalahari. It was, was the way it was going to go. Amy does get third, at least. Kalahari's going to get third and fourth. Stinty's had a terrible final lap as well. Oh, what a race. What an absolute mayhem-inducing crazy race that one was. Stream has gone away longer than expected, but we were having fun on the motorway, okay? Uh, <laughs> uh, God, dear. Oh, Wallala Vortex, thank you very much uh, for the donation. Uh, saying, damn, the Fail Race Police Department. Yeah, the Fail Race Police Department. Well, they are in attendance. I don't really know if they were useful. They didn't really do much good at stopping monster trucks, but they were definitely here. 
and they definitely made things worse. Uh, <laughs> so I guess they did their job. That's the Far East Police Department's job, right? Is just to turn up, make everything worse. I bet they were very successful at that one. Oh dear. I forgot how much fun this track was. It's so dumb. It is unbelievably stupid, but it is very good fun. Uh, and this is actually, this is the, the slightly less chaotic version. There is a version where the AI traffic spawns with trucks and trailers and buses. That is genuinely, we can break the game with that. Or we can break the map, certainly. Um, that, yeah. That can go really wrong. But, ah, oh, there we go. I managed to get two wins in a row on the motorway. Uh, <laughs> Danger Man won a lot of uh, the sensible races. We did fairly well in a few of the dumb races. Oh dear, we even had the great Ute, the Pisswassa Ute. God, that was a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> it was about three hours ago we had the Pisswassa Ute. But uh, there we go. That is indeed going to be it for uh, for this for this stream for this mess of GTA Five races. Uh, it has been a lot of fun. I hope you have all enjoyed this one. Uh, I very much have. Um, of course, a big thank you to all who uh, all who donated. I think I read out every message. I certainly do try to. If I did miss any along the way, I do apologise. But uh, it is it is always much appreciated. Um, uh, those of you who who do donate. Um, so yeah, thank you. Some some very generous donations tonight. But all of them all of them are very much appreciated. Uh, we will be back on Wednesday for a uh, for another stream we will be on the long drive continuing that mess of uh, that mess of a game in a different way police caused trouble on there for me last time out as well uh, but yeah I'll be back streaming hopefully on uh, on Wednesday with uh, with the long drive so hopefully I will see plenty of you there that though is indeed going to be it from me. Of course, also a big thank you to all of you watching. Uh, I hope you've had a good evening, afternoon, maybe very early morning for some of you if you're out in Australia land. It shall be it from me, though. Until next time, a uh, goodbye. <laughs>